welcome back to TBD RPG. We are so excited to be here. Um, special thanks to our sponsor. Uh, we have the enhanced edition of Neverwinter Nights. The best RPG of the early 2000s is coming to all consoles for the first time on December 3rd. Uh, the enhanced edition features remastered graphics, expansions, premium modes, and co-op multiplayer. Starting December 3rd, you can play the game on Nintendo Switch, PS4, or Xbox One. And you can pre-order the enhanced edition of Neverwinter Nights at your local game store or on the Skybound shop. So, yay! Thank you so much. We are thrilled to be here. Like, welcome back to our squad. We've got a ton of people here today. Yay! Um, this is the eighth episode of our Kids on Bikes saga. We are picking up uh, our Halloween episode. So, yeah, Halloween is still here. It was forever this <laughs> year. And it's still Woo! here. Uh, so we got to the 13th floor of the 18th floor in this mansion. But let me just remind you where we are. We are in the 60s. It is the fall of love instead of summer of love. It's the fall. It's October. Um, autumn. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> what is this? Hot autumn. Hashtag autumn. Hold on to your bottom. It's time for autumn. Yeah, that's what they say in the 60s. I'm though. writing a new poem. <laughs> <laughs> like autumn, but hot. Um, we are in the middle of a little 10 by 10 town of Witchburg, Illinois. And uh, kids on bikes. This is a you'll take on the roles of everyday people grappling with strange, terrifying, and very, very powerful forces that you cannot c defeat, control, or even fully understand. And the only way to face them is to work together, use your strengths, and know when you just have to run as fast as you can. That's our game today. Um, so let's. Uh, remind the audience of where we are. If we each want to go around, if we just want to start with you, Gina, and read four cards. Okay. So, it could be any cards. Um, I will start at. Is there like a? I'll I'll give some rumors. We got lots of rumors. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, there is a rumor that you have a uh, Isabella <laughs> has got a Fleur de Lis tattoo. On the, uh, that she got on the top of an Eiffel Tower. Um, Tabitha's hat is storing illegal dope drugs. Witchburg's military base is hiding aliens. And um, the, that I picked up a piece of a uh, decorative and uh, uh, sort of thrifted item in Los Angeles that was haunted. Yeah, that one's true. That one was not true. <laughs> I didn't thrift it. I was gifted a chicken. <laughs> it wasn't thrifted. It was gifted. Exactly. <sighs> I've Those always continually things. impressed by how much of poets you've all become. I don't excel at poetry. There's a number of complicated forms, and I get them in theory, but they're quite difficult to apply. Start with A-A-B-B. -B. What? Like this poem I wrote about Hotum. Would you like to hear? I, we would love yes. the universe yes. says, please share your poem. Hold on to your bottom. It's time for autumn. Look at the autumnal colors. They fade quickly, like all the others. But do not dismay. It will soon be springtime May. And there will be allergen hell to pay. <laughs> Whoa, she said the itchy double hacky wow. stick word, but I loved it. That was a lot. I wow. Oh, I we could get which You're one? Inspiring. Oh, snap. You are. I'm snapping. Just can't what? hear it. Why are we snapping? It's, it's what the beatniks do when they ever do a, you know, uh, any kind of poetry. Oh, they just snap instead beatnik. of that. Yeah, that's what my nan says. Oh, uh, Millie, would you read four cards, please? Yeah, sure, 100%. Uh, Redmonton Renegades, that's our high school Ooh. sports team. Everybody knows Go Renegades. Um, order of the oh, Donuts <laughs> is the nonprofit for children that I work at. Uh, yeah, at the, uh, the old donut store that I don't remember what it's called. Holes for Kids. Holes for Kids. Oh, how could I forget? I've been okay. out for a long time. And um, <laughs> Holes for Kids, that's where I work. Um, there's also the movie drive-in, which is obviously a hot spot for tongue and tongues. And uh, Green and Glowing Juice Shop, which is another popular store right down there in the middle of the neighborhood. Speaking about tonguing tongues. 
Violet and I made out. <gasps> oh. When did that happen? Is this all happening while I'm passed out on the lawn? This is happening while you're passed on the lawn. In the heat of battle against cheerleaders on floor 13. Mm. Anyway, I'll tell you a Tell me more about, about rhyme schemes. You I promise I won't tell my mom. Yes. I wrote a poem. Uh, it's for later. Are you sure about that? Okay, it's for right now. Okay. To Violet. Apprentice. That's how I think of you. <clears throat> Apprentice, your lips is ellipsis. <laughs> Favorite color is Grixis. For lemonade, the mix is bittersweet. <sighs> Not, we're snapping, guys. Wow. I just can't. But I thought you went to the dance with someone else. I was out of town. I don't think love is one of the things I understand. Oh. <gasps> oh. oh but no. oh. I'm, I'm learning a lot about rhyme schemes and uh, oh. I have a lot of nature facts. I'll print um, out that poem in, in my hand printing <laughs> for you to remember. Maybe. Wow. I could. Wow. Uh, would you Ouch. like to hear some facts about Witchburg? <laughs> yes. Yes. Please. Thank you. Sure. Yes. Um, there's a place. And called Witchburg Burger. I, I work there. My uncle runs it. Welcome to Witchburg Burger. Which Witchburg Burger would you buy? Um, also, there's the graveyard. Um, uh, that is, there's a memorial of the mayor riding a horse, which is weird. Uh, it's a statue. <laughs> um, we have major industries like lumber and a military base, which was previously alluded to in an earlier rumor regarding whether it is hiding aliens. Uh, and there used to be a place called McGregor's Stuffin's Taxidermy Emporium. Um, it is closed now because sometimes you have ideas and plans and things and then they don't work out. Like love. Those are facts about Witchburg. Oh, yeah, I know all about, did we go, did but, we do the dance already? Yeah. Mm. Did I dance with Scotty Dickinson? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Uh, which dance? Was this homecoming? Well, it was Brett Banky, and then I threw up on him. Yeah. And then yeah. it was Scotty Dickinson. No, I thought, I you, I thought your new was... plan was to make him jealous with someone else. With Scotty Dickinson. Has the dance happened? Uh, yeah, that dance happened. Uh, did I in do it? In season <laughs> one. <laughs> we are now in season <laughs> two. I kind of blacked out after I threw up on a guy. It's okay. It was my yeah, worst yeah, yeah. fear. Did you get sent to a summer <laughs> camp, but you got over it? I was sent kind of somewhere. And we Obviously, we all remember the facts of our lives very well, yeah. <laughs> as all teenagers do. And it's really only yes, been like... What do you remember about our town? Yeah, <laughs> what do you remember? I remember the poetry retreats I went on. Oh, no, it's yeah. not on the card. And... No, it's on the card. Oh, you, you <laughs> literally? Okay. Yeah. yeah, literally. Sure. Well, where were we? <clears throat> we Witchburg were... Burgers. Do you know yet about... Uh, yeah, what weren't you? Let's see, we've done... We're going up or are we going down? We've done the whole thing. They're random. First rows. <laughs> so you start then oh, somewhere in here. That's Great. Math doesn't work Okay. Then. No, <laughs> well, we'll skip the rumor that was confirmed because it's already been confirmed. Let me tell you about a place I am afraid of. Roller rink. Rockin' Randy's Roller Rink. Rockin' Randy's Roller Rink is the place where certain uh, caliber of student attends, and I am fearful of this sort of social interaction, for it is not where I excel. Anyway, that's Rockin' Randy's Roller Rink. The economy is prospering. Enough about that. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably because of um, social programs still being funded. Anyway, Peggy <laughs> went to a house party and got a tattoo. That is so cool. Yeah, it was also Wait, that, was, it? that was a rumor. Of a is potato. it of a potato? It a it's potato. unconfirmed. Can I sh can I see your potato tattoo? <laughs> Why you can't just ask somebody if they oh. can see their potato. <laughs> so many tattoos. Unfortunately, you cannot. Um, check my body for potato ink because you guys left me on the lawn and went to the 13th floor <laughs> of a house. Right. I forgot you're down so there. So you cannot search my body. <laughs> I'm I forgot, sorry. I forgot we're in the middle of a heated cheerleader <laughs> battle in a mansion that a skyscraper. Okay. Uh, me later. But you know what I'm thinking about while I'm in the middle of this mansion skyscraper is that our town is famous for mac and cheese. <laughs> crushed up mm. cheese it crust. Mm. And we all love it. It's mm -hmm. like you can't mm -hmm. You can't be from the South and not love barbecue, unless you're a vegan like me. People don't know what that means. Cause it's a, a new, vegan it's like a me new, sounds a like new, a yeah, great vegan, poem name. It's a new thing, but I have written many, many, many poems about mm. being vegan. I'll read you one later. <clears throat> great. 
Anyway, there was another confirmed rumor, so we don't care about that because there's large letters covering up what was underneath. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and that's four things. That's what I know. Uh, yeah, well, I also heard that Isabel's actually never been to Europe. I know that we say it's false and that we've seen photographs, but I've seen a lot of magic in the world that could still, could still be a rumor. V, why are you thinking that I am lying? I thought we were friends. What happened we to your friends. accent? But why do you, it, it changes all the time because I've been in Europe and I've lived in France and things like that. So You can you know. be from wherever you want to be from, but I don't think that you've ever been there. But I oh. lived there. I had photographic evidence. So I don't know why. <laughs> does, 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 v, does V know French, perhaps? Oui, elle sait tous les langues qu'elle veut savoir. Je m'appelle Denise. Oh. Je m'appelle Isabelle. Okay. <laughs> you should ask her some questions in French. Mm, 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 mm. She is from, from Europe. She's just a different <laughs> name. <laughs> Isabelle has been Denise not so much. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this Denise now that you are? It's, it's an RPG. Oh, you can just say, I reply in perfect <laughs> French. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, when Millie was 10, uh, Peter Pan came to her with a passport, but her parents said no. Um, so, that's that. Millie yeah. almost ran away with a pedophile. Yes, yes. Um, was that uh, <laughs> confirmed or no? I don't We don't. We, we, it is neither I confirmed nor denied. You can confirm I, whether or not I deny. Can. That's what I do is I just deny what uh, that... <laughs> Rumor. So you did go with Peter Pan? I didn't. I would never. I am a, an adult grown child. I'm a when young you woman and I don't believe in Peter Pan because that is kid so, stuff. Well, I have a number of questions about how the whole concept of flight would work. It does not seem like the science oh. would really support. Agree. That sounds like a fantasy that a, a child would believe and not me, Millie, who is 15 years old and a young woman. Mm. That's very sensible. <laughs> that makes perfect sense to me. Thank you. I have been working on my perfect adult sense. Although I recently learned that magic might be real. Well, that's also true. It is real. It's real. Which is why the photograph could be a lie. We are also infamous for grave robbing. Yeah. Mm. Thank you. And would you like to wrap us up, um, Isabel? I would. Um, Peggy's poppin' pearlescent puffin' Palace is something that she would like to open someday. Oh my god, I forgot that, about that. Right? That that is your goal. <laughs> that was the workshop name. A, yes. oh, that was our that was our possible name for my animal sanctuary slash art warehouse. Where where everyone gets to be themselves and believe in themselves mm -hmm. and love themselves and make art and also love animals that need homes. Right. And you had a lot of uh, animals housed right did you give those what happened with that oh you mean the ones that i stole from the the, the mix mcgregor stuff that, that was a confirmed rumor right yeah, the dead, the dead confirmed. Stuff one. Yeah. did you have to return them no the store closed <laughs> so there was nowhere for me to return them okay, to great um they just live somewhere <laughs> but they will someday live there they live in a tree house Aww. where i have hidden them because they deserve to have lives after their stuffed deaths. <laughs> yes, agreed. Don't they? I guess they don't. The embalming is good. It's okay no, they, for they, outdoors. They, they, ha they, the smell that they have uh -huh. was meant to be there. <laughs> <laughs> good, it's I'm not, not going to get worse. You know a tree house is me. the perfect place to store them, I think yeah. so as well. Yeah. Yeah. In a logging great. community, there's a lot of trees, there's a lot of tree houses. Oh, yeah. I hope yeah. it doesn't get taken down. Well, I think it'll be safe. There, probably it's probably on your family's. Left. Yeah. All right. Um, well, thank you. Oh, uh huh. Go We've ahead. We've got the big one though to lead us into this, which yeah. is uh, my nemesis, Linda. Yes. And the cheerleading squad are apparently possessed by aliens. Yes. So that will take us into our little recap of last week, just so you can remember where we were. By last week, I mean a month ago. <laughs> so you're gonna need this information. Um, so the squad of girls that came out that were surrounding this 18-story mansion, which is Linda, this evil head cheerleader who challenged them to a costume contest mm -hmm. in the first episode. 
Um, they're actually not hypnotized by Alan the Rooster, but they were actually hypnotized and body snatched by aliens. And Linda came out with a squad of girls wearing large branches and wings, carrying candles, and turned into a black cat. Peggy kirked out, um, passed out, and muttered, Get Alan! Um, who was fluttering on the 18th that story, like that was you, of the Stone Mansion. Isabel went to go investigate the military base, and Tabitha V and June and their new friend Susan, um, Susan also known as Random Tuesday, oh. uh, went to storm the house. Um, they went up the stairwell. Tabitha threw two cheerleaders down the stairs, um, <laughs> they just may, short they... of murdering. <laughs> Well, we heard bones you know, crack confirmed. and break in a way <laughs> yeah. that was poetic, and yet their groans from the bottom of the stairwell tells us they're still living, barely. <laughs> so they were when we dropped them. When they dropped, they hit wood, and then they stopped being possessed by aliens because these aliens are of the wood variety, um, and <laughs> they went back Can't into the wood. wood. Yeah, there's the old computer game where if a thing hits the thing, then like it goes back into the thing, the element that it's from. That was a and lot of very like specific this. terms. That's <laughs> like this. I don't know what I can name, but it's great. Anyway. <laughs> V and Tabitha were lured by choir music on the 13th floor oh, yeah. into a room of 10 alien-possessed floating cheerleader heads. It this brought us closer together. In order yes. to make out. Under stress, it's it happens, I We've think. Heard about that. <laughs> anyway, June also went, um, went out with her branch wing as a tennis racket, and then Susan used, used her device. Um, to call the alien's parents because she was actually an alien herself. And it made lightning in the sky, crack a tree branch, which swung through the 13-story window, hit all eight of the heads, took all the aliens out of the bodies of the cheerleaders. And that is where we left off from our story, in case you forgot <laughs> any of these details. No, um, not the one. I uh, yeah. just caught up because uh, it's Halloween night and I had to do a lot of convincing for my mom to let me out. Oh, Satan! Oh, 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 oh no, no. I'm not really Satan. She said that I could uh, not dress up because today is Satan's holiday, but um, <laughs> hi guys, I'm here at the party with you now. I'm really? not really Satan. It's a pleasure. Oh, sorry, I have a new new fear because I, I conquered my old fear of throwing up in public. Wait, so <laughs> on that note, tell us your fear. We're gonna just quickly reintroduce our characters. So tell us your fear, motivation, Oh yeah, my name is Millie McGuffin, I'm 15, I'm going through some changes and I'm becoming Menses. a- Menses. Menses. Yeah, Menses. I'm becoming an adult woman and um, thank you for saying that. Um, <laughs> I um, oh, left my past in my past, which was my goal was Brett Banky, and to make him jealous, um, I dated Scotty Dickerson at the dance, I think is what happened, but I also threw up on Brett Banky, which was my biggest fear, and now um, my biggest fear is getting possessed or sacrificed to Satan, because tonight is the devil's night, and that's why my mom wouldn't l allow me to dress up, even though I really wanted to. Thank you for your time. <laughs> <laughs> Did you tell your mom it's a common custom? It's part of a long tradition going back to harvest festivals and people wear costumes that are not what they really are. They put them on to look like other things, but they're not those things. I wish that I had known that or else I, I probably wouldn't have just stormed out in a, in a half. You know, I, I'm i probably gonna be in heaps of trouble when I get home, but that is if I do get home and not sacrifice to Satan, so. We won't let that happen. I am but happy to let Satan. that. Okay, it's still a little frightening to me, just to be a fr uh, frank with you. Who is Satan? Satan. This is why. Our Lord. He's gonna get you. He's gonna. He's gonna make you. He's gonna make you believe in fantasy, and he's gonna make you play Dungeons and Dragons, and he's gonna make you. He's gonna make you give your soul. He's gonna take over the world, and it is my greatest fear. And my mom said that I shouldn't be out tonight because tonight is his night. But I feel, well, I don't know. I mean, we tried witchcraft like way a long time ago, and I had such a good time. I'm feeling really torn. I don't. Maybe we should just sacrifice our souls to Satan now. I um. <laughs> I'm not here. <laughs> <laughs> so what's oh, in yeah, your I'm not <laughs> Millie. <laughs> <laughs> Millie, what's in your backpack? Oh, my backpack, I have a carving knife, a Bible, of course. I've got a lacrosse ball, a bag of holes. Uh, unshakable optimism. Uh, the knife is because I... Uh, backpack? Yeah, you got to have a backpack full of unshakable optimism. Yeah. <laughs> That's just like all the songs that we sing in church. Um, oh, yeah. 
uh, God's love. And uh, that's a good thing. To have. Carving knife because my dad is the butcher in town. So I, uh, if you need a animal cut up for its giblets, I am your girl. <laughs> he supplies Thank my uncle mother. with a lot of meat for butchers. Yes, that is true. We did do that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But I don't know Fantastic. anything about the cutting part because they don't have a badge for that in Scouts. Wow, no. they should. I feel like that's necessary survival technique, don't you know? You know, you gotta you gotta <laughs> slice up and figure out how to use the whole animal. Mm. June, you wanna tell us about yourself? Hi, my name is June. <laughs> She's a little shy. Um, um you wanna keep going? I'm a scout, uh, <laughs> so I'm I'm usually prepared. Uh, I've got some trail mix and an Audubon guide and some binoculars. Um, and I've been having a very adventurous summer and fall, um, making new friends and learning to believe in magic. And my goal is to understand love. Oh. Um, I had an old fear that someone didn't feel about me that way, but that's all done now. <laughs> um, so I, I, w I think maybe I could learn about it like I learn about trees and um, my... Uh, my fear is that I won't figure out. I, I'm always talking about going to college. That's usually my goal, but I don't know what I want to do. So my fear is that I won't figure out um, 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 which things to learn and to get out of which book. Mm. Well, look at it this way. We may never make it out of which book. <laughs> is that it won't matter? comforting? Oh, yeah, I probably just will <laughs> just end up working at the, at the old butcher shop. I don't plan on going anywhere. Was well, that not what you mean? Sure. You'll end up at the butcher shop in one form oh or another. Oh, my God. Yeah. I don't understand. I Look. feel like she's putting down mm. something, but I'm not so good at subtlety, you know? It's a poem, right? It's it, a poem. <gasps> if I was here, I would probably be very creeped out by Tabitha right now. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not yet. Not yet. Almost. Uh, would you like to share with us, Peggy, who you are? Sure, I can. I can definitely do that. So I am laid out on the lawn of a, <laughs> lawn. a cult of ladies who just yeah, the did things squad. and stole my chicken. Yeah, and and I'm slowly turning into a bird. By the way, I'm Peggy. I I got knocked out and I'm on a lawn and all my friends went up. Uh, I don't know where they are. They could have been captured. Um, hey. I'm 17. And you already know about my dreams to be um, the greatest artist of all time by um, encouraging other artists. That's my art. Um, I think that's my art. I think I found it finally. It's not just modeling, which I'm also very good at. My, my other art is making other people recognize that they're good at art mm. and also animals. Um, Didn't you trade brains with the chicken? Yes. <laughs> Did we forget that? Can you not tell? <laughs> this I think is my chicken is my brain, brain in your body outside. while I'm asleep inside of Alan. No, was that yeah. a, a permanent, or did you just didn't you just like I look through his actually. eyeballs? Oh, I did look through Alan's eyeballs once. They are um, slowly possessing each other. Me and the chicken are becoming one. Yeah. yeah, and also separate. It's very confusing, it's but um, we're sl our skeletons are swapping, and we get each other's traits some of the time. Mm -hmm. um, like, like, Alan started learning my secrets about my family, which I didn't like, because then he started <laughs> telling them out loud, which like is freaky rude. Friday. Um, and then I started becoming really good at floating, but, like, like sort of <laughs> floating? Just, yeah, I was able to glide down the stairs like a chicken. Sure, but yes. I, yeah. I, that was chicken, pretty like fun chickens for glide. <laughs> um, So originally my fear was that uh, was being a chicken, <laughs> But I'm not minding it so much anymore. I mean, I don't want to be a chicken forever, but if it happens, hey, I can glide a lot, and I might get a job that way. So you didn't mean being a metaphorical chicken. You meant being a literal chicken. That is a fear. I was turning into a chicken. Wouldn't you be afraid of being an actual chicken? I never thought of being afraid of that, but now that you mention it, yes, very much so. You're welcome. I can't wait to hear that chicken poem. You're welcome. Yes. <laughs> Because my new motivation has always been, since I got back from the nudist cult that, that turned me into this chicken, um, <laughs> to spread peace and love and maybe chicken alien awareness. Peggy also Do I know very... about the aliens yet? Or was I knocked out? Before you were that? knocked out. I don't even know there's aliens. <laughs> you just thought that they were possessed by chickens the way that you... Uh, uh, right. Peggy went on a um, many-hour bus ride to L.A. I met a lot of interesting people. I was blackmailed onto a 
onto a bus to leave to Los Angeles. And many people, uh, Bobby and Marie and Pablo, took very good care of me. Um, but they also made me a chicken. Yeah, um, it's the 60s. And but <laughs> then they bought me bus rides, <laughs> and I got to hitchhike back. And in the in in a nice man who drove a beetle named Marvin. Yeah, Marvin gave me a ride all the way home to my friends. Yeah, after Tom, uh, the bus driver kicked you off. Yes, who I had to headbutt <laughs> because he wanted to take yeah. away Alan. Um, that might have been probably in the long run a better thing for me, but that's neither here nor there because I'm a chicken now. <laughs> Um, in my backpack, which I still have on me on the ground, um, I still have lots of makeup. That's important to me. I still have a camera, which has two pictures left. Two um, pictures left. Only right. two pictures. And it's the thing that's been able to identify who's turning into a chicken. So maybe it identifies the, the bad things inside of us. Um, I also have lots of dog treats. And I have, um, oh, I had sparkle glasses, but they got broken. So those are not in my backpack anymore. Um, I also don't have any more costumes because they were burned at the nudist colony. Um, more costumes? <laughs> yes, I no longer have chicken in my backpack because Alan is on the roof. Um, I have two. I have a bunch of records that I was gifted on my my travels, but unfortunately, they held messages from the evil things. Oh. So when you played them backwards, no. they had satanic messages no. from the stars. They did. They did. They did. Um, the real devil. No. Just I have my hitchhiking you. sign. No. And I have an address book full of a bunch of phone numbers now because I was out and I didn't know anybody's numbers. So that, that turned out to be detrimental to my survival. Um, so now I'm keeping records because I'm absent-minded and a little self-centered. <laughs> um, I love every single sentence that comes out of your mouth, Peggy. Thank you, Thank you for the recap. You're this very welcome. Now I'm laid out. Let me know when I'm allowed to wake up. Okay, I'll, I will let you, <laughs> the universe will tap you and be like, you're up. Thank you. Um, Isabel, tell us a little bit about yourself. Oh, hello, I am Isabel Montes. I used to live in Europe. My father <laughs> is history. a general, um, and he is at the base here now, and that's why I traveled in Europe. <laughs> <laughs> And yes, sometimes my accent, it will come and it will go, and it will sound a little different because I've lived so many different places. Mm. You've learned to blend in everywhere I you have. go. <clears throat> I am a chameleon. I'm 15, uh, a little bit of a, a rebel. I, uh, <clears throat> my fear was crying in front of people, but what replaced that was becoming too soft because I found a group of friends. But now it's changed a little bit, and now I fear that my friends maybe don't like me like I like them. So mm. I'm a little oh, worried about that. That's Don't we all fear. fear that all the time? Mm -hmm. oh, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. And uh, I yeah moved a lot. Um, hmm, my motivation is to protect this group and investigate all of the things that are going on, which is why I ran off to the base to see if I could find out any information about the chicken or the crazy cheerleaders or... How much did I know about the cheerleaders, though? I don't think I knew about the cheerleaders. I was probably investigating the chicken. Maybe I found out about the cheerleaders. I don't know. You knew that you were going. You were at the cheerleader's house, and mm -hmm. you were going there to investigate. Well, we have no clue about the aliens. The Correct. skyscraper Unless, mentioned the 18th <laughs> yeah. story. Unless there is a dossier at the base. We don't know mm -hmm, that. Mm -hmm. um, in my backpack, I have a strong sense of self-reliance. Money. Um, you both have metaphors in your backpack. <laughs> but that's what that's what you can carry in Absolutely. your kids on bikes thing. You can put a awesome resource, stuff like self confidence or that's amazing. High self worth <clears throat> or great people in my skills. Backpack. Yeah. Anything or like pictures of yourself I have great in Europe. Skills don't need to find it. <laughs> um, How does that work? Mm. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I'll really? Uh, so many poems. Uh, I have a tape recorder because I'm trying to do all the investigating lip gloss, cash, a switchblade, um, some peanuts, a sketchbook, a, a rosary from Marie, my friend in Paris, who it is yes. rumored might come visit. And that is it. That is Isabel. Also rumored that from your friend Anastasia. Marie. And that is yeah. true. <laughs> the Tsarina Anastasia. Uh, um, great. Thank you. Oh, and thank then, you. V, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, my name is Violet. You can call me V. I'm 15, I guess. And uh, I was scared of Tabitha, but now that we have um, 
uh, locked lips, I am not so scared anymore. And um, my fear now is still just religion and um, unleashing bad magic in others because it seems volatile in this world. Um, my motivation is to search for the one thing that survives all hardships. Because it used to be about finding magic in others, but I can see it very clearly now, especially with a photograph that shows chicken <laughs> skeletons. Um, is death the but thing, the that, always thing survives? that survives all over? Is that home? No, I'm searching for it. I'll tell you when I figure it out. I'm the one sure. thing that survives all others. Wow. Sounds like a ring that we can't find. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, and I have flower crowns and weed and a taser and a and Roger's single. Wait, wait, wait. Did you say that you have weed? Flower crown, weed, yeah. and a taser. She, she's and my one of these weed. is not like the other. <laughs> Whoa! Mm -hmm. I missed a lot while I was at home. Okay, yeah. I didn't know that we were a couple of dope fiends over here. Yeah. Okay, I think that I need to call my mom and have me pick her up because we got a devil over here and we got I'm dope. Not really, the devil. We don't well, have phones, Millie. Oh, there's no phone. There's no phone in at this. the house. <laughs> no, the lights are off. The lights are off. <laughs> so they oh, I just got here. I don't understand <laughs> what's <laughs> happening. <laughs> Good luck trying to call your mother. Um, and Roger's single tear and a bottle of Millie's tears. She collects your tears. And um, flip flops. And uh, I think, did it, what were we using as weapons? Was it a baseball bat that I found in the house? I think it was the the wings. Right? Yeah, the wings. Oh, oh it's a, a, branch, uh, a branch, a branch, a branch wing. Yeah, branch wings. <laughs> <laughs> a roll of stickers from the police department, or maybe a cinnamon broomstick. Um, yeah, and just the tears because the I ate the mac and cheese. So yeah, hopefully, hopefully those tears will come in handy for something. <laughs> yes. Do you need more tears? <gasps> Could oh. You? oh, ouch! <laughs> By the way, I just in case you missed it, June head. and V went to the dance together, but then V just made out I, with Tabitha. I don't understand because oh. I don't feel any differently. About her? Oh, I was wrong, though. Is the th I just, and some things I don't understand as well as other things. Were you looking for monogamy <laughs> in the 60s? <laughs> universe, so far. Okay. love, baby. <laughs> Curious universe here. Um, We'll learn about love. I later. too am trying to understand how love works. Oh. Sorry. Maybe there's. Well, I have guesses, but we'll get to it. Okay. It's the look on your face every time they talk about the. It just breaks yeah. my heart. This is why the lemonade was bittersweet. Ivra. <laughs> 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 do you want to hear a poem about a chicken? Yes. yes, I do. Yes, we do. Oh, good. Yes, because you maybe this is the thing that resurrects me from my lawn state. <laughs> maybe so. <laughs> after, after the windows were broken, I'd go to them and I recite, Chicken, perhaps you fear the feathers. Perhaps it's the beaks. Slipping from reality, your mind barely tethers. Without the love of Alan, you feel like a freak. <gasps> That end rhyme. Point Shoot in. up. <laughs> I do feel like a freak. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, my Ta name is Tabitha <laughs> Gower. Tabitha. I think my work speaks for itself. But anytime I'm not with my friends, it's because I was at a poetry retreat in Wisconsin. Tabitha! Hello, Mi uh, Peggy. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> anyway, finish, introduce, finish introducing yourself. Okay, well, uh, <laughs> I, Tabitha, before. remind me who you are. <laughs> My brain hurts and I'm turning into a chicken. I have a new goal. It's to hide away from society and its judging eyes. And my fear is of pom-poms. <laughs> pom-poms is in the cheerleaders' pom-poms? Pom-poms. Yeah. Pom poms. <laughs> the only pom poms. <laughs> All of the pom poms. Because those are fuzzy time. pom poms that you like use for masks and also arts and crafts. <laughs> yes. Wait, pom poms and pom poms. Yeah, little pom poms. What are the I pom poms them. used for masks? <laughs> They're like little pom poms that you glue pom -pom. on. Like things. little yarn. Little pom -pom. Stop saying pom poms. Yeah, <laughs> <saying pom -poms. laughs> <laughs> I'm the lucky stop. She's so scared. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a cheerleader pom, and then there's like actual pom, which is separate from cheerleaders. What pom do we read? Pomeranian. Okay, yeah, anyway, like Pomeranian. isn't there also flower? terrifying dogs? <laughs> They're so much like a pom pom. Here's what's in my backpack: formaldehyde, a lucky rabbit's foot, 
a rat skull, a sharpened stick, a spell book, a crystal, a portable record player, <laughs> and a squirting flower because for Halloween I have dressed as a happy clown. <laughs> With a smile. <laughs> Uh, you guys I did shout from the window. <laughs> what? Did you all end up meeting? Because I know meeting at first y'all hadn't, right? Because she was she was stuck in her house, and then we met you outside the house. Did y'all meet? Are you? Oh later? hi! I did not see you come out the other half of that window. <laughs> Isabella, wait, I'm wait, wait, wait! Speaking in a normal <laughs> Wait, hold on. We're gonna pause for a second. The universe. Universe. <laughs> no. <laughs> um. Thank you, everybody. Just a reminder <laughs> on how to play. Are uh, we doing it wrong? <laughs> no. There's no way you could possibly do this game wrong. Um, so teens add plus one to brawn and to fight. You all are teens. So remember, you add one for your uh, brawn and for fight. Yes. If you fail, you give yourself an adversity token. You keep track of those. Um, and then you can add a plus one to any future roll because here and in life, we fail forward. So uh, you can e roll. E you can either roll your die as well when you have a roll, or you just take half of it and assume an auto success. Uh, okay. Um, so we're here. Uh, we have V, Tabitha, and June on the 13th floor. The cheerleaders' heads have just been knocked by this branch, and all of the wood aliens have gone back. Susan. Goodbye, Susan. Here's a different device and says, Okay, God, Mom, fine. I'm coming back. I'll be home for dinner. And she looks around and goes like, Peace, everyone. And then she she disappears. Oh, Bye, she Susan. Came in peace. Bye, Random Tuesday. Uh, so she goes back Say to peace. her her um, wood alien home. Bye, Susan. Um, Tabitha V and June look outside, <clears throat> and after Tabitha recites a poem, they see Peggy on the ground, shaken out of her trance. I'm alive! Oh, that's so good! You're all here! Who was that lady that ran by? Uh, the, the, Susan? Yeah. <clears throat> you don't have to actually she, tell me. That's <laughs> <play brush. laughs> Um, The universe sends a signal to your brain, says she was an alien, and you're like, what? Aliens? And then just that's <laughs> Wait, all you need to know. Wait, that's the rumor I heard about our town. Aliens are real? I heard that the base was hiding aliens. That's what everyone outside of this town says about us. And Maybe. at well, that definitely moment. definitely real. Wow. And I'm at that moment. Now. This is true. Yes. Um, and as she says, they're definitely real. Yeah. And you were talking about the military base. You see Isabella biking wildly with Millie in tow and also a telegram that she found <laughs> at the base. Right? Here we come. Oh, my gosh. I'm embarrassed that I'm not in costume, should, but I'm excited to participate. Should we come down? We're on the 13th floor. It's a little hard to hear you. you it took so long to get up here. Well, basically, you need them to come up to you because you still need yeah. to get Alan. The, your your oh, goal right now is to get Alan the rooster, who's on the 18th floor, back. You guys, come up here. Should we bring our bikes? No, that's stupid. Okay, I'm going to lock them up. <laughs> Throw um, them at the window stupid. and we'll try and catch them. Yeah. But before but before Millie goes up the stairs, she sees a little squirrel on the ground and says, Oh, oh. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and then Millie thinks to herself, I don't have a Halloween costume. I don't have a Halloween costume. <laughs> so now we're going to do a roll for okay. Braun. <laughs> What am I rolling? <laughs> You're doing a roll for brawn. E20? What's your particular What's your brawn? E6? Okay, brawn. <laughs> what am I going to do? Am I going to skin the squirrel with my butcher knife? Wow, that is grim and I love it. <laughs> okay, got a one. But it's a two because you're a teenager. <laughs> Yeah, it's a two because you're a teenager, and luckily for you, it was a roll of one. So anyway, <laughs> okay, you my knife now. now. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. Millie, what are you doing? There's no need for you to be embarrassed by me, old Millie. I'm going to have a costume right up in a gif. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you do? I skin the squirrel, and I respectfully save its entrails <laughs> and its sinews and its bones, and I put them into my bag because we use all parts of the animal. We use all parts of the animal. And I use the... Um, I used the squirrel head as a hat. Oh, but oh! And now she has a costume. Look at guys, cute, right? <laughs> so cute. 
Okay, I'm ready to party. I think down that your hair, Millie. Wipe a little bit of blood. <laughs> on. I didn't have a new motivation, and I feel I'm feeling a little like a little sassafras tonight because I told my mom what's what, and I said I'm gonna go out whether or not it's Satan's day, and so I'm gonna try a beer for the first time. <gasps> oh. oh. Yeah, that's my new motivation. <laughs> Whenever I get on the lawns, a lot of weird things happen. Is it just beer? Because I think I might have a little bit of vodka left in my flask. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's Clean your stuff. hands. Oh, that's Remember? right. I, I forgot, forgot about the flask in my flask. Okay, yeah. I'm going to come up to see you guys and save some of that uh, some, some of that de devil juice for me, okay? <laughs> I'm with, so she's with, with you. She's hey. with you. Hi. Yeah. What happened to you? We'll celebrate when, when? we get Ellen. Just now. Yeah. Oh no, I'm turning into you. <laughs> <laughs> turning into chickens, Minnesotans, it's it's all it's, a lot of things are happening to my body. What's this about oh Sam, I understand about the feminine changes it's that have been menses. happening in Macy's. Yeah, that's right. Sure, you bet. Is that like turning into a chicken? Well, do chickens menstruate? Yes. Here, yeah, that's, that's, that's just what eggs, eggs are. Right? We eat them oh. all the time. Oh. Oh. Wow, you put a different I'm context. shouting helpful facts Think about it. I wrote a poem about this window. if you're ready. Wait, Wait hold, hold on. Go upstairs. As, as, as Peggy comes yeah. to and goes up the stairs with Millie in her new squirrel outfit and Isabel with her telegram in tow, as they trudge up the 13 stories, um, the, 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 uh, Tabitha reads her vegan poem. Between the buns lies the lie. Never forget baby chicks had to die. Each time you bite into a non-dairy muffin, you help the bird live to be the taxidermy of McGregor stuffing. Wow. <laughs> Powerful message. That one, that, one, that, one, that one felt very personal to me because you named chicken. Mm. I forgot about your veganism. I'm sorry that I'm wearing an animal carcass on top of my head. <laughs> I used to intern at the taxidermy place, so I've seen it all. Okay. Yeah. You are looking for a new job. I don't know. I don't I feel conflicted. I personally won't eat it, but I'm also not judging, except in my poetry because I find it's more powerful. Anyway, I guess I have mixed feelings on the subject. <laughs> uh, was it just the three of us upstairs? Yeah, because Susan left. Are Wait. all the cheerleaders lying there unconscious now Susan that they're not possessed home. by aliens? Um, the, the cheerleaders are passed out. They are breathing, which is good news, depending yeah. on how you look at oh. it. And um, Great news. It, but Linda is still nowhere to be seen, and now you all need to go to the 18th floor. But Isabel about her. has a poem. Or a, a telegram. <laughs> <laughs> no more. That's definitely not a poem. My poem is entitled Important News. <laughs> so this is from the military base that she went to go and explore. Look what I found at the military base. Hello, Isabel. Hi. Hello, hello. I'm so sorry. I just, it's, I went to go get information, and I've got some information. Seems urgent. Don't ask questions about excited. the eight passed out cheerleaders on the ground. They're fine. No, yes. I, They're breathing. They're I sleeping. Mean, it makes sense to me, except I would like to see Linda on the floor, so I don't know. Anyway, she, thank you. Uh, Right. There's many ways to do that. Important. <laughs> Excuse me. Important news. Stop. Go see the psychic at the mall. Stop. XOXO. Stop. This is that from why? your father, the general? I don't know who it's from. <laughs> it was a telegram I found at the base. Where'd you find it? Uh, in, like in a desk drawer? It or? was in a bunch of files, yes. Is it in a drawer. addressed to someone? It is addressed to... It was addressed to Isabel. Me. It was addressed to me. That's... Yeah, well, wow, really who who is giving you X's and O's? <laughs> yeah. Also, why you, is somebody stealing my messages? I don't know if they know this in Europe, but XOXO is a kind of a code. It is a code and it relates to romance? Oh. Well, Necking. Oh, what does it mean? There are two letters in the code, yeah. and they refer to two different activities that people can do if they feel strong feelings about people. Oh, no. um, and one of them is to hug, and the other one is to kiss. I'm gonna June, go would you like to ask of your arms and a kiss is the O that you make with your mouth like this. But. Or is it the other really way? Oh, with your, it's oh, not no. your O oh, with your hug, and then X is the kiss. X I don't know. It's supposed sure. to be a cartoon. O oh, with your hug or with your with your with your because it with your arms or is it you cross it with your mouth? I think X. this is the X and this is the O. 
Yeah, you really don't. That's how you kiss. <laughs> Let Make me a hole in your mouth. try. I'm gonna walk up to June and kiss her and hug. Oh, um, okay. okay. You tell oh. us which is which. So right? you're gonna have to roll for that to see if um, you are okay. persuasive enough. Persuasive? Um, yeah. So this will be a charm roll. Oh boy. And because June did observe you and Tabitha lock and lift. Oh, she observed it. Oh, <laughs> she was there. Just been the three of us. It's weird. Literally been the three of you guys. <laughs> did you take any notes? I did take some notes. More. Wouldn't it just be more shock? I'd be like, ah. Oh. Instead of like, oh, how are they doing that? Well, you well, know. Note taking is a response to stress sometimes. That's because true. Because if you don't know what else to do, you could write things down. That's true. And maybe true. you could learn from them. She also That's says that true. maybe Thirst I was trying knowledge. to perfect my technique <laughs> for someone else. So let's see if your charm works. Oh, it's a four. Ooh. Ooh. And a five. Very what fortunate. Was the... It was a three. So. Right. Um, so she walks up to you, and what do you do? You charm. Oh. You're charming her. Oh, I well, I wasn't really going to use words. Um. Oh, you just walk up. She's entranced by, by I, you. I was, you know, with the conversation happening, I say, well, let's but, see. And you do the, the, oh. So she kisses you on the, right here. Lips. <laughs> <laughs> this can't talk about it. You have to specify. Some of us have beaks. <laughs> right. right. On the lips. Yeah. Um, and then what do you do? How do you react? I I think it's real still and I I take my notebook out and I I I flip through to a certain page and you can see over the shoulder that it says first kiss on a blank page and I write today's date. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh my gosh. Oh, you guys didn't make out of the dance, did you? Hmm. Oh, no, we we've danced. got we've got we've got booze and we've got dope and we've got girls kissing each other. It really is Satan's night. Wow. I am so is like, oh, oh, oh. Technically the weekend before Halloween. Anyway, it's <laughs> fine. Oh, <laughs> <before Tommy. laughs> I am starting to ascend the stairs as my feet feel talon like. Okay. <laughs> so are you just gliding up the stairs now? Yeah. Like gliding. Oh, are you, you reached us and you passed us? You I just... went past you. That I moved through the loving gaze without breaking it. I just need to. <laughs> My brain hurts and I'm feeling feathers. Oh. It, like, not a physically on the outside, but in my, inside my soul. Mm. You're feeling feathers? Yes, I feel feathers inside my soul. And also, maybe like I. Maybe eggs or something. I don't know what this Whoa. feeling is. It could be nerves. It could Men's be eggs. Is. I have more ovulation Men's than that. Is. <laughs> Peggy, I just want to let you know that even though I work at the butcher store, I will never, ever kill you and eat your flesh, okay? Thank you. That, that means a lot. Do you mind if we go get chicken, though? Oh, my, they, my live chicken. So Alan. Yeah. Alan. Yeah. That was also a beautiful moment. I didn't want to ruin it, so I was just going to sneak upstairs and grab him. No, no, no. Spell no, the no. poem while watching it. I'll tell you later. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll come to. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. All 18, all of you all want to go upstairs. To <laughs> all, all 18, 18 of us. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like it's It's not my birthday yet. I'm not 18. <laughs> all six of you aspire to go up the stairs to the 18th floor to grab <clears throat> Alan. But you are concerned because Linda, your arch nemesis, had turned into, she had turned into a black cat and now you didn't see her. Oh, yeah. In, Oh, yeah, so we... Yeah. Did I know yeah. that? Linda turned into a black cat and escaped, guys. Witchcraft! Witchcraft! As we ascend the Aliens. steps, uh, I'm going Good to assume questions. you're going to catch me up on why there's eight passed out cheerleaders on the floor. Aliens. 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 Of course. Maybe I could. I did read a couple watch. of files about that. <gasps> Do you have a diploma? Are you okay, Tabitha? I'm fine. Oh, did my, my happy feelings give you bad feelings? I guess they're best expressed in a poem. <laughs> <laughs> Persuade her X into your O at the movie drive-in in the screen's colorless glow. If you're Tabitha, this pain is its own win. That was supposed to rhyme with drive-in. Anyway, <laughs> the shattering of my heart as I see I'm helpless to Cupid's dart. Oh. You know, we'll workshop it. Oh, yeah, I that one means I oh. lost my touch. I lost my touch. <laughs> I don't understand. I don't understand. I'm just trying to love like normal oh, people mm -hmm. do. Love no, triangle. I accept the pain. I enjoy it. Oh, my God. Is what I was trying to write in that poem. I guess, you know, 
is this anyway let's not go what oh, love is sure no I, i'm not sure love. you've got to find baby. a new mule <laughs> well sometimes heartbreak gives you um inspiration a lot True. of artists get their best stuff from their worst experiences. You just use it. Okay, the universe is done with motivational speeches. <laughs> you guys go to, as you walk up the 14th, 15th, and 16th floors, you start to hear scratches on the floor of the 17th floor. Is that you, Peggy? <clears throat> Is that no, your... I clipped my toenails earlier. That's not me. <laughs> by your talons? Okay. <laughs> no, no, the talons are inside my soul. They're not manifesting on my body anywhere. What? I'm not physically turning into a chicken. Just sort of meta... Not even metaphorically. More like... Like I said, my soul. Yeah, my con... Exactly. Oh, no. All my you'll know is grain and backpack. <clears throat> And what? Back, back. Back. Back, back. back. Oh, back. back, back. Sorry, you were using an accent I didn't recognize no. in chicken speak. It's okay, I'm up from up north. <laughs> I meant the chicken's accent. <laughs> I didn't recognize central. this. <laughs> I'm still learning chicken, so I didn't recognize that you were telling me good luck. It's okay, I worked at a, a butchery, I'm sure I've mentioned it before, and I know I'm very fluent in chicken, so if you make the full transition, I will help you and not eat you, I promise. Don't trust <clears throat> her. Ka -ka. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's as as you ascend to the seventeenth floor, you hear where and you see you see a shadow buzz up to the eighteenth floor. But as you approach the seventeenth floor, you notice that the last stairwell is a single file stairwell. It's only this big. Only one of you can fit in at a time. So you have to go in a single file line. I am bolder than I used to be. I attacked a thing with a stick, and that makes me feel strong and confident. Um, mm. So if you want, I will go first. There's a weird noise on this level. Well, what will happen? It's also pitch black. I shove her forward. Oh! <laughs> no! I go, oh, no. I, I go directly behind, because my brain is starting to not understand cognitive thinking very well, and now I'm just following the human that I probably think will feed me. I'll go Ooh. third. Okay. One, two, three. I take out my bag of holes and I give one to Peggy. <laughs> and I say, come along, Peggy, don't worry. What I got flavor? you. Oh, then I turn around. Oh, cinnamon. <laughs> and, and just, just. Yeah, that's a good friend, chicken. And I'm behind Peggy now. Okay, great. Um, I follow. And then, and then who? <laughs> then me, because I follow the donuts. And you follow the donut. <clears throat> so it's Wait. me, Isabel, the two of them, and then you two. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. I stare at Violet. It's dark in here. Very, very dark. dark. It's a good thing no one could be I meaningfully stare staring at anyone. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I stare. I think my fear is coming back. Um, <laughs> your fear of? Tabitha. Tabitha. Oh. Oh. <gasps> oh. Uh, <laughs> so which one of you goes oh, no, first? Oh, second. <laughs> <laughs> oh, which one's going to go first? Ah! Oh, I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. There's a that chicken. That sounded like a real one. I mean, I'm it's I'm so confused. Okay, I'll um, go. I take the rear. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Oh. Oh. oh my god. <laughs> okay. I'll so laugh. don't you laugh? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, so June goes up first. And it's pitch black. I'm but get the wing thing back out. She's got her branch and a wing thing up, and she feels her way up this single tiny little staircase. Um, it almost has many strange features. Yeah, it's and it's texturally interesting. Made of stone, and at the top she sees two glowing eyes. <laughs> oh. And it is Linda, the black cat, and she goes. Like, I told you not to come here. And she reaches out and swipes it. <gasps> ah! No, but do you just so? Is she a cat or is she turned into a human? She is a human who had turned into a cat. Right. And she is a cat. Oh, but she's possessed. talking as a cat. She's talking as a cat. Got like, it. Oh, okay. Like Salem, a cat mm. who may talk. How big? Like regular house cat size or a human size? She's <laughs> a big cat. So it's like, like a Thackeray Binks cat. Yeah, like a mean? back, like a like a medium sized cat. <laughs> <laughs> like a like a medium dog like a, like cat? a what do they call now like the, like a chunker, 
A chunk. Like a, like a big chunk. Chunk. Cat. It's chunk. Yeah. <laughs> An overweight house cat. An absolute unit. <laughs> absolute unit. <laughs> absolute what? Absolute what? In about 50 years, these sound like wonderful words. <laughs> unit? Yeah. Is unit the cool What's thing to say? Yeah, oh boy, here he come. What a unit. <laughs> you know. A full unit. It's the 60s. No one's been Twitter for 40 years. <laughs> Listen. Chunks existed back in the 60s, and they could also be considered full units, or, where's our 60s? I don't know what it is. Or a swing in. Or beefcake. Full beefcake. Check it out. A boss groovy, unit means a boss groovy out of sight, twitching wipeout. <laughs> what? Wow. Twitching wipeout? <laughs> yeah. So it comes for you. Um, what do you do? I guess I reflexively swing my thingy down. My like I try to swat her with branch the uh, weapon. branch weapon. Okay, we're gonna roll for fight um, oh, to see if you um, successfully evade her swipe and or attack. And what's the target? Four. Cool. Got a D four. <laughs> okay, good. But I get a plus one because I'm a team. <laughs> yes, you do. All right. Ah, caught off guard. It's exactly four. Perfect. Yes. So you evade her swipe with your yeah. reflexes of a scout. Um, and as I'm you prepared. aim to swing for her, the tip of the branch scratches her face. <gasps> she is pissed. She's like, Meh! but you get through and get to go to the 18th floor because she goes back into her little, she's in like a side <laughs> thing on the, there's like the 18th floor going up. Alan's on the top. She's on the side here, just trying to stop people. This I'm going to go for Alan, but uh, Linda is here, and she's a cat, and she's very angry. And none of my cat facts are helping. Well, did maybe it's because she smells squirrel blood. <laughs> did, you say, be it. did you say she's furry angry? <laughs> I should have. I wish I had. Um, she's very angry. Please amend your memories to indicate that I said the cool thing. <laughs> <laughs> I can um, do that. Is she wow. in, in like a Chicken stuff. an alcove Chicken. or like yeah, a she's room? In, like if these are the stairs going up, mm -hmm. do, 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 she's in a little thing off to the side to just stop you one by one, like a landing. Yeah, like a. Um, but like, is it big enough for me to step into? No, just her. Because I want to take her. Oh, oh like what Clocksworth is in and Beauty and the Beast, like a ledge. Yeah, like a ledge. Okay. Yeah, but June has successfully gotten up to the 18th floor, so. After that, we had me. you. Yes. Did, did I see this? Can I? Cause, yeah, you saw this. Okay, I would like to try and grab her by the scruff. Okay, you try to grab her by the scruff. Uh, this is also going to be a fight. Okay, cats um, hate that. But, oh crap! I don't have a. Yeah, cats bar that. super hate that. Mm -hmm. But yep. also, it unwittingly um, releases calming um, hormones through their whole body. Oh. Ooh. That's oh. where their moms grab them. Ooh. That's a great cat fact. I should have thought of that one. I don't know why I know that. Maybe chickens know a lot oh, about God. cats. <laughs> are, are chunks well, natural natural to grab? Yeah, that's right. Wow. Mm. It, it's a two. Okay, so you, um, it was gonna, it's a one. Mm. So you grab her by the scruff, <clears throat> and it actually calms her for a second. And she goes like, ooh. So you then. You don't aim to do anything else. I You're would like to carry her up the stairs with oh. me to the 18th floor. Oh, uh, you'd have to roll again to see if <laughs> your charisma can do for charisma to hmm. be well, kind of like charm. My charm is better. Um, so this is going to be a 10 because she's angry. <sighs> Even though she's slightly calmed. <laughs> yeah. It's a seven. So while she's calm enough oh, for you to wait, what? Oh no! Does it, is there enough? Can you use yeah. multiple adversity tokens? You can. <gasps> I would like to make that a ten. <gasps> oh! Because I had five. Linda, <laughs> so like calmed by the 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 neck grab, <laughs> <laughs> she can't help herself but goes. Mm. In your arms. <laughs> I'll cradle her as well. And you <clears throat> cradle her. Wow. And then all of you get to go up the stairs together. So um, June has already gotten there. When you arrive at the top, you see Alan, the rooster, all in a flutter, batting his rooster wings around wildly in a circle. And it looks like Peggy's eyes are in there and just trapped in there, but running wildly. And then as Peggy enters the room, 
Alan zooms towards Peggy and 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 like hopes to be cut, and then you catch. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? What do you say? Peggy, I miss you. Alan does not like this body. I want my chicken body back. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't told you guys, but I've been Alan this whole time. What? Oh. You did such a good Peggy. I know all of her life. It's pretty easy to imitate, and I don't understand why I still have her cadence, but I, maybe that's because I always sounded like a chicken. <laughs> <coughs> that's incredible. <gasps> Peggy's in there. We need to help her. I don't even know if there's Wait. a poem to be written about this scenario. Alan, yes? you didn't mean to do this? I don't know. Okay, okay. I just, it happened. What, how far, how There were long? beings, and I was a chicken, and then I was becoming a human. Oh, wow. And then I made friends. And then I was sad. How long have you been a chicken? Um, <laughs> fully? In this body or the other one? The other one. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm like a five-year-old chicken. <laughs> oh, no, I mean this one. <laughs> in this one, um, Since maybe we... like fully myself, by myself, in here without Peggy. <laughs> Numbers are hard. Like, like are after we took the picture. Oh no, I still had some Peggy in there when that happened. There was Ooh. a couple. Of okay. Did I would say since when I got the noggin knock, now I'm full Alan. You knocked your noggin? Yes, the cheerleaders. Did you? Did you start to? Do you see this bump? Her? It's covering well, a whole bump on my head. <laughs> it's, well, it's just flesh down here. <laughs> That's my whole head. It's a real goose egg, huh? Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's the wrong kind Did of you, bird. Yeah, you, yes, you, are, you are correct, June. <laughs> Your birdology <laughs> pendant allows you that knowledge, I assume. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. June is very smart. Did did you Badge. start transferring over before you got back from Los Angeles or when you got back from Los Angeles? It was a slow process, but it happened over the course of the entire time I was in possession. How do we fix of, it? Hold I on. do not know. Hold on. Do you, I... Alan. Yes. Congratulations on being such a good human chicken. You did a, I really believed you were Peggy, and quite honestly, whichever one of you wants to inhabit the human body, I think, well, you're doing just a great job. Yeah. Yeah, you could join drama club. club. But don't that, you That encourages get... me a lot. <clears throat> Have you ever just considered... chicken stares at you. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should just stay in that body. Don't you want to get Peggy? Uh, no, we should, we should get you know, Peggy that's, back. You know, I'm not minding this body. That, and now that you say it, that I'm doing a good job, you know, I might want to stay here. Mm. Alan, yeah, um, at, this, <laughs> at this moment, Peggy in the, no. the chicken starts, just starts, starts to peck you. Um, Don't worry, we'll find you another body, Peggy. She starts to be very, very agitated. <laughs> um, so actually, you're gonna need to make a roll to see if you can calm Peggy down after Alan just said she's not giving Peggy her body back. <laughs> oh, yeah. it's a roll off. It's a charm. So you need to do charm five because Peggy oh. gets agitated pretty easily. Here's the thing. Emma, does Alan <laughs> receive the same charm as me since he is fully inhabiting yes. my personality? Wait. Yes. Because I'm rolling as <laughs> Alan to calm down Peggy, correct? Regardless, yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Just wanted to clarify for those keeping track at home. Do you have Unless there's auto? a chicken stats in the back what? of the Kids on Bikes book. Yeah. I yeah. do have auto. Oh, you have auto success. Okay. I'm a, mm. I, I don't you know do. if you noticed, Universe, but even as Alan being Peggy, I am charming AF. Yeah. You are charming AF. I am the grooviest of charm. I roll a 20, which gives me an auto 10. <gasps> Which means I beat that five like no deal. That's amazing. <laughs> amazing. So uh, the reason I know that chicken or that that cats have a calming area is because I, Alan, also have that same calming spot on the back <laughs> of my neck as a chicken. So I just give a little a little neck stroke to Peggy, who is clearly not happy about being a chicken forever. It was literally her fear. Of being a chicken, and she is now a full chicken. Um, gives her a you little, get... a little calm. Yeah, Aww. you could tug on the waddle too. They yes. like that. Uh, I... <laughs> Alan doesn't feel like tugging yeah. on his oh, waddle. Oh really? Um, <laughs> neck I heard it. Public. I read it. <laughs> I heard. I heard it. You like bird um, facts too? 
Uh, I learned it in uh, reading about taxidermy of birds. Mm. Interesting. Um, at, oh, sorry? No, go you ahead. go ahead. So they, at this moment, um, while Isabel is stroking and, and being so kind to Linda. <laughs> stroking Linda. Linda. Linda's beady little eyes open, and they flash <gasps> with yellow, and she lunges at Tabitha. I embrace it. I, let her, I want to bleed. I try to block her. Oh. No, let her bite me. So um, then this scratch is gonna, me, cat. Then this is going to be a grit challenge to okay. see how much she can scratch you, and you can be okay with it. What's the challenge what level? What example you do? June um, intercepting. It's an eight. Yeah. How do you intercept? It might not be in time. I guess. Oh, you're I intercepting. Know. Okay, she, her first, and then and then okay. you'll try to intercept. Wow. You could have just let. The competition be I failed. <laughs> failed. Okay, so she, uh, uh, Tabitha, me, cat. rolled a three. It was a challenge level seven. So Tabitha just takes it <laughs> and lies there. Yes. As Linda goes to town, like her own personal scratching post on Tabitha. I deserve this. She starts to bleed <laughs> on her arms. And as, as, as Linda goes for Tabitha's throat with her claws, <gasps> um, June steps in. No one deserves pain. And what do you do? I try to scoop her off. Just scoop off the cat. Just try to scoop. Do you know small pieces so of cat nails full of toxins get into your skin when they scratch you, and that's oh. why it turns red and puffy? <laughs> That's a really interesting cat facts. fact. Sounds gross. We've all got cat facts. We have more in common than I realized. So, I so this is going to be a fight level of. Uh, you, so you're just scooping her. Um, it's a it's a three. Cool. <laughs> I really should have chosen a fight. Woo! With a D20. What'd you get? I got a four. Nice. Makes it six plus one, seven. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Boom. she, June, what do you do, actually? You describe it. I, I want to uh, run up and uh, I'm sort of put one hand down on one side and scoop the legs with the other to get the whole cat off of you and into the air and ideally end up holding it where it can't reach me. That's amazing. You do all of that, scooping it into the air where it can't reach you, and actually, you toss it all the way to a window ledge that's far away from the six of you. Uh, Panic! What? I lay on the Leave ground, my alone. tasting my own blood. Yeah. What's does, it, does it taste like iron? I I should Penis. probably like. And he's tastes like. All right. <laughs> Long. And bits of uh, <laughs> you. You may have noticed that that chicken has broken free from Alan's hands and oh, is no. going after to attack the cat. <laughs> oh. Don't go to the window. Oh. oh, oh, Peggy, 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 Peggy. Peggy's attacking that chicken. Oh. Oh, no, the other way around. That chicken <laughs> is attacking that cat. <laughs> chicken cat fight. Oh, Peg chicken wait, wait, wait. Peggy, Peggy, right? Peggy attack. goes Peggy to attack. Cat. Peggy, who is the chicken? Peggy goes to attack. Would you call this okay. a cock and pussy fight? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yes, I would. I think cock Full stop. fighting is illegal. <laughs> Another letter from the general. <laughs> I'm assuming We're, this is something dirty, but... <clears throat> no. Just, you know, not, oh, the innocent Slayer. Man. I love you. Stop. Anyway. Oh, but not. Oh, I thought this was an internet thing. No, no, don't say that. <laughs> just move on. Just move on. Oh, I keep going. I attack. <laughs> Peggy, it's illegal for roosters to fight in this city. Okay. I'm a chica. So, so Peggy goes to attack, and so let's roll yeah. for let's roll I your attack. fight. I let's... don't have a. I'm a chicken. No, you're a rooster, so you are. <laughs> no, I'm Just saying roll. chickens a rooster. Roosters a chicken. Alan the rooster. I'm saying Peggy doesn't have that cognitive uh, understanding anymore. Oh, okay. she's a chicken. Well, a rooster. I, but a I just, chicken. I wanted to let her know she's breaking the law. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What's going on? How much is it? To it's, just peck at this, uh, it's this a cat. five. We're already witnessing well, a cockfight. We might as well place bets. I don't. Okay. No. Okay. So just frantically, Peggy <laughs> goes like, "What is this?" That's what the chicken So say. it's funny because it's cute, but like chickens can't fly, which is kind of sad. So she goes for it and then she just flutters back down to mm. the ground. And at that moment, Linda the cat turns to you all and says, ah, like, I'm totally 
going to see you guys all at the Halloween costume contest. And there, your lives will end forever. Well, we're going that. to kill you now, pussy, because there's six of us. She jumps out the window. What? And <laughs> crazy. <laughs> crazy and I was open. <laughs> she was on a ledge. Yeah. That she was a closed window. <laughs> closed up, pussy. <laughs> she jumps out the window, and um, you guys all run to the window, um, expecting her to land with a thud. But there must be some type of black magic going on where she, oh, in her cat form, lands smoothly on the ground, looks up, does a fake hair pony toss with her cat head, and then prances <laughs> off into the woods. This reminds me of a poem I wrote a long time ago. <laughs> About cheerleaders leaping. Oh, yeah, tell us. Cheerleaders leaping, frolic in their joy. Embrace your limber youth now, for tomorrow you'll be worm food. <gasps> Dead, death, stillness. Go team. <laughs> wow. So that's that one is very okay. impressive. And that sounded like a premonition. <laughs> I not a poem. Just what the H A double hockey stick is going on here. Okay, we got oh. our friends turning into chickens. We got cats that can talk. We got everybody kissing each other. I am right. I am ready to get blitzed. Okay, I need some alcohol right now, or I, I'm not gonna be on your level for a little while. I've, I've got a flask. Hey, so hand it to you. First I drink first. it. Oh wait, wait. You gotta go to the mall. So you drink. Uh, so how much did you have in there? I, I think it was full when I when I had it. It was full of just vodka. It was full of vodka, and then I cleaned her hands a little bit because she okay. was freaking out. So like a tiny blood. little bit. Like, yeah. Oh, no, like, okay. So you or a quarter if you want to. Yeah. Say. Okay. So, so then you got enough to get alcohol poisoning. It so you, you, my dad's you breath. don't so you, drink it all. So I drink it. What do you do? Do you drink it all? I drink it all. No. Okay. So <laughs> this is no. now a flask. Not let's say her. there's three shots of vodka now that you're drinking. Oh if it was, if it maybe like fit four shots. So let's do a grit test to see how much it affects you. <laughs> so we're gonna do a grit test to see how much three shots of vodka affects Millie, who has never before drank oh, anything, no. right? I am ready to commit my soul to Satan. Millie, okay. I'm, not I'm, not really. I'm so proud of you. I love you, so, Satan. This is the grit test. Grit? Of five. Okay, I got eight. Five. What does that mean? I got. So that means you use a D8. Okay. And it's a grit test of five, one? so you this can't one? auto t auto succeed. That you have to roll it. it. Okay. <laughs> see if you get affected. Well, Nothing left for me. <laughs> I got three. a three. And you drink the whole thing. Oh, so. gosh. Oh, we no. failed. I get an adversity. I said okay. there was a lot because I wanted to share. If Satan <laughs> comes out tonight, then I am ready. Okay, I have already had... Anyway, I've got oh, no. my friends or cats and chickens and everybody's kissing except for Millie. And I am just... <laughs> I, if the devil comes and takes me tonight, well, if she missed her, I am ready. And at this moment, you look at her. And <laughs> <laughs> so, um... What if the devil's a woman? <laughs> Well, uh, then I might kiss him. <laughs> You'd be. <laughs> She's drunk. Yeah, literally. I, so Millie is definitely I kissed, feeling it. I kissed him. <laughs> you kissed you? Yeah. On um, where? On the mouth, on the devil's mouth. But on the <laughs> I say I'm ready. <laughs> on the O? <laughs> ready to commit my soul. So Millie goes you from. You under the impression that I am the devil? Was yeah. that not kiss for me? Yes, it was you, devil. I'm not the devil. <laughs> I have been told uh, my whole life. I don't know life... to write this one down. It you wasn't sh... for me, though. I, mean, I have been should. told my whole life to avoid you, but your lips are very soft. And so maybe my mom wasn't telling me the truth. You this has given me a lot yeah. to think about. Man, Love your diary. Uh, <laughs> second kiss question <laughs> mark. So Millie is now fully intoxicated. This meant for devil. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> asterisk, asterisk. This one was intended for the devil, but received by me. Information about lips may pertain to both. Unclear. <laughs> um, and I noticed Isabel is upset that uh, all of the alcohol has been drank, so I will give her a bottle of Millie's Tears uh, to drink because we all know that tears, when they sit, uh, ferment. become yeah, ferment. Yeah, all that salt becomes yes, fermented. It ferments and creates a potent uh, oh. alcohol. Full of emotion. Yes. Mm. Oh, boy. Drink this. Oh, what is this? Do you drink? Don't. 
Don't. She's very speak. convincing. <laughs> okay. Can you drink? Is it the full bottle of Millie's tears? How many tears did Millie cry? Well, so a many. Lot. <laughs> they cry a lot. There was no vomit in there, right? No vomit. No, 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 tears. no, no, no. Just salty, powerful, fermented tears. They come out of different places. I drink right. it. So you're gonna need. So let's do a grit test and how see how these affect you. Alrighty then. So this will you have also vomit coming out your eye holes. You've got to go to the doctor. <laughs> This is a grit test of four. Tears are powerful. <laughs> I oh, I got an eight, dogs. but also I could have taken the... Okay, okay, so you got an eight. So you drink the I tears. Luckily, they fully go with your own emotions and body and power, but you definitely feel like an extra powerful... <laughs> Um, we can call it emotional intelligence or your EQ. So oh. you actually now are um, very good at your gut and instinct and, and tingling for like a, a, for a while. Great. Ooh. The rest of this episode. Yeah, if anybody yeah. needs more tears, I got them. It's right behind my eyes always. No, <laughs> Soaking up my whole body. Fresh tears don't have the same effect. Oh. Do you yeah. want some more? You can bottle them up for later. Yeah, I, 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 I lick Millie's bottle. cheek. I would take mm, them home. Fresh. I'm wow, gonna... I'm sinning so much tonight. <laughs> Cry. I'm going to wave this new laugh. She laughs and cries. She laughs and cries. Do you think the psychic can help with the chicken situation? I do. I think that I... Because XOXO can also mean hugs and kisses from somebody who is not a romantic... You know... Yeah? In, yes. It's not necessarily romantic involvement, so... so I wonder if, because my friend Marie from France, I want you to know, I met her in France. I she like has <laughs> actually a lot of uh, <clears throat> experience with supernatural and the occult. And, and I wonder if she doesn't know what's happening. And maybe, I mean, it could be her. I don't know for sure, but I'm thinking maybe it's her. Let's go to the mall. I think that's a good idea. I want you to know that I accept you for you. <laughs> Whether this is a beak inside or just a regular You perfectly pantomime my actual beak shape. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's a, quite a beak. However you, you are, I think that you're my friend and I love you, whether you're chicken or human. Okay? All of a sudden, you star sound like me. Yeah, I feel a little woozy. <laughs> All right, it's time like for us to on my ride bike. It's okay, Eric. Yeah, let's go so down 17 flights right. of steps and then get on some bikes. I will lean on you. Yeah. Ooh, maybe oh. she should ride with one of us. I don't know if she can drive. I would like yeah, to roll to bike. see if I can successfully slide on the banister down the circular, <laughs> uh, down the 17 <laughs> flights. Okay. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. It's one of those types where you peer down. So it's an 18 Secure. thing stairwell. And then mm. you peer down and you can see all the way to the bottom where <laughs> the two cheerleaders that you had dropped um, their bodies are still there. They, 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 you think they're breathing. I think they're fine. I, I would like to roll my bra okay. to see if I can sustain this banister slide. <laughs> okay, let's see if you're... Uh, you're I have you're, a... What was the... Hold test? on, let me think about it. Okay, um, great. You're sliding all the way down, so if we use all those physics laws, this will be a roll of... <laughs> Four to see if gravity and angle. <laughs> I got a three plus one. I did it. Oh my god! Yes. With just the right amount of momentum and the perfect angle down the banister, she goes all the way down all 18 floors. At the end, I pop up in the air and I float to the ground. <laughs> and then you stare at the cheerleaders and kind of nudge them with your foot. Wow. Are, are, are they breathing? There's a breath. Yes, a breath. <laughs> okay. So now you don't have to feel bad about uh, murdering. Can I walk out last? I'd like to set the building on fire. Oh. Yes. So you all <laughs> Wait, leave. Where are the other eight cheerleaders <laughs> sleeping on the 13th <laughs> yes. floor? No. Um, I glide down. Oh God. That's so my specialty. What do all of you all do? Everyone just goes down, right? I am. I am Anyone stopping man. for the cheerleaders? I am it's hoping. Some of the, you are so cool. Mm. And I wrote you a poem. <gasps> Here it goes right now. Okay, Tabitha, you are cool and pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Millie is my name, and you're my friend. Uh, do, if you have a pool, I would like to have some summer fun with you, Tabitha. Um... I forgot the rest, but I was just so inspired by your pool banister and all your poems. I would like to to be like, 
Q. <laughs> that rhyme scheme was unconventional, but yeah. I feel but like I'm valid. 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 Yeah, hey, you, my friends. My favorite part was in the middle when you made everyone think you might vomit, and then you didn't. <laughs> you did. I've already done it in front of my old crush. I don't even care. I conquered that furor. Yeah, not only in front of, just on. That's... <laughs> Special. So, so we all hop on bikes and sinning. Uh, so can you, we tell you're lighting the building on fire? You hop yeah. on your bikes like and you try to, and you walk out last. Surely <laughs> there's some spooky candles. Everyone else hops on their bikes. There are yeah. spooky candles. What do you do? Just gonna knock them over. So you knock that. Let's let's see if. And and you're trying to set the but the building's also made of stone. There's some wood and some stone. So. Well, if the floor is wood. Okay, so let's uh, let's make this a um, hmm. let's make this a brains test actually to see if you have if you can knock the candles to a point. Is that right? Yeah, let's just do brains because you're gonna need to encompass things like wind and candles and like <laughs> wood wood points and science mm -hmm. to see if you can successfully uh, uh, light this house on fire. So this is gonna be it's kind of windy. It's inside? late October. Inside. I'm inside. Oh, you're inside, not on the outside. Definitely inside. Oh, okay. Well, then this is just a test of like two because the floor is wood. So <laughs> go for it. Okay. Uh, I'm so worried. What? Hey, we're fire. on bikes. Fire is magic. <laughs> oh. It's fine. I have so many adversity tokens. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. I was going to say, oh, she didn't light it on fire. She got a so one. So I'll make it a two. But now she <laughs> says a two. So describe what you do. Mm. What floor are okay. you on? I am on the bottom floor. And as you all are all getting on your bikes, mm -hmm. so I'll you turn back to everything's see. Everything's definitely fine. I'll take the candles, whatever I can grab, and I'll, I'll uh, I guess, knock them out or hold one to the banister, perhaps. Mm. Uh, it's... Free from dust now. Yes. <laughs> yes. It's been wiped clean. <laughs> um, and uh, I'll look at the cheerleaders, and I'll say, don't worry, you're going home now. <sighs> and then I will walk out. Do we see this? No. No, yeah, you do. You're, you're all, though, already on your bikes, you know, several yards away. And you turn door. back mm. to see this flame start to crawl up the banister. Oh, with he God. waves goodbye to... <laughs> <laughs> to Millie says a little prayer for the cheerleaders on the floor, and there's also eight on the 13th floor. Um, so the building slowly starts to light on fire. Luckily, a lot of it is stone, but a lot of it is also um, wood. So, uh, for ages. <laughs> so yeah. I crossed that off the to-do uh, list. You, yeah, it's really been what on, was on your list for a list? long time. Burn the Burn down Cheeler's house has been on here for like four episodes. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. So she, uh, V, successfully I, has uh, achieved one of It's not like we're not supporting this goal, but it just has happened. <laughs> I can't her right away. So, um, oh, you can't write away. Isabel's a rebel, but she's not a murderer. So well, Isabel, what do you do to okay. mitigate this? Do you want to talk about it? <laughs> Wait, what's happening? Yes. Why is, what's going on? Well, I, you know how we- We're cooking the humans. Accepted that, oh, Alan, uh- Yeah. That's that's, what, that's I, what happens to chickens like me. Oh, okay, well- We put them in a big house that sets on fire and cooks you. You oh, put chickens in I might in be a house? vegan now, too. No, people do. <laughs> people put chickens oh. in big houses that have doors that have buttons that make fire and they cook us. So weird. I so am you so hungry. are cooking them. No, like the violets of violet goals long desired. Now she get <laughs> from the flames she emerged. Her innocence now scourged. Wait, um, I don't understand because fire is magical. I'm just letting. No, it, it go kills on. people. I will probably just have to go in and try and. Okay, so you go in and go in yes. there. Oh, you I go left in. two at the bottom of the stairs. Because then so at sad. least she'll we be. See them. We'll pull those two out. I'll, yes. I'll pull those two out first because then at least she'll get her thing. But maybe yeah. no murder. Exactly. exactly. Okay, okay, so prepared this bag, so I'll go with Isabel. Okay, so Thank Isabel, um, let's do a brawn roll to see if you can pull these cheerleaders safely out of the house. Just the two at the bottom. Yeah. So you'll do one, and then you'll do one. So this one. Going up to the thirteenth floor when I set the banister on fire. Do they have? It's a. It's a big Please mansion. Do they have an elevator? 
Uh, they have a wood. Like, the fire is just on the banister right now. Okay. It's a stone house with wood. Mm-hmm. Like, the only wood so it's a is the floor at the bottom. Fire. And then, yeah, it's, it's a slow burn. burning fire. Mm-hmm. Slow burning. Because we can also try and wake them up as well. Oh, the um no Maybe. that the, their floor is wood. You're gonna need to drag these two cheerleaders on and the floor. The, no, but I mean like floor. The, the ones. The thirteenth floor, like, we can figure them out later. Okay. It's these two on the bottom you need to save from oh, eminent yeah. murder. I'm gonna ride my bike to the nearest payphone and call. <gasps> you said nine one one. Okay, okay. Wait, nine one. The cops have it. You said that you weren't a, a narc. Okay, so two plus three, and then I, have I still limits. have. Oh Somebody God, no! I'll just it okay. It. Wait, shit. I'm going to watch um, them as they three, do all four. this and just take What did you say? Notes. What number was it again? It's a three. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I you have two. It. Oh, two plus, plus one. Because Okay, great. Yeah, two plus Okay, so plus you three. drag out one of the cheerleaders, and she's like, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. And she's like, actually, she grips you very well because she's used to doing the holds. So that's good. And then you just, let's do one more with you, a brawn. Uh-huh. Does she have many broken bones? A couple. Mm. Her legs. <laughs> it's <a> difficult. <laughs> Sorry. But you did throw her down the stairs. I did. Um, a three. Ooh. Ooh. I have exactly one adversity token. But it's bronze, so you get a plus one. And I get a plus one, which makes it exactly three. Okay, wow. so this one, she doesn't quite grip your arms, but it is like she she definitely, you pull her out with your with your brawn, and you figure out the right efficient angle and all of that. So that's Satan's that's strength. That's great. Great. Peggy and Chicken, Peggy and I are eating donut holes outside. We're watching. sitting on the curb and eating donut holes. I've okay. never seen anyone pull a half-cooked person out of an oven before. I, yeah. Why would you do that? They're not fully cooked yet. <laughs> you know, this sometimes is their time to go with God, but I don't... I'm just hoping Tabitha doesn't call the cops because I'm the only underage drug person here, and I just feel like I don't want to. Don't be worry, don't up worry. In the pen. I think you would be the last person that would be the most in trouble here. Can I try? As blood like... drips down her temple. Whoa! <laughs> I guess we see if so. I was fast enough to call the fire department. <laughs> yes. Okay, so flight. Yeah, flight. Sure. What am I rolling? Oh, uh, you're, it's a let's. Okay, so um, house is starting to burn. You're riding your bike to the nearest payphone. So <laughs> let's say this is like a seven. I have a D six, <laughs> so I fail. No, <laughs> no, no you, you can explode. <laughs> Bless you. Oh my Any God. Of Just to Are ride you to a payphone. <laughs> you <laughs> you're not going inside to try that phone. No, I'm not going inside. <laughs> All right. She's calling the. If you want to do it right now. Cool. I spend my two adversity tokens and I got a seven. Yay! So you successfully. Well, tell us what you do. Uh, I ride to the payphone on the corner store, uh, like the liquor store, and. Uh, Hello, fire department. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, yes, I'll tell us your emergency <laughs> in your location. Okay, so. You know when you have a friend and you think that they <laughs> have it all together and it turns out they don't. You're going to have to speed this up, ma'am. Okay, well, you know that um, skyscraper mansion on Stony Avenue? 18th floor, <laughs> the, 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 the Linda What's-Her-Face's house. It's slowly going up in flames. I'm an anonymous person. Goodbye. Oh, wait, ma- ma'am, ma'am, ma- and you hung I up. I brought my bag back. You hear sirens <laughs> immediately coming towards the house. So now uh, V has the house is burning. Um, you're, you're starting to hear the cries of the uh, girls on the eight, 13th floor who are um, waking up, and it's it, they smell smoke. It's not burning quickly though, and the sirens are coming. What do the six of you do? Can I have a donut hole? Yeah, <laughs> I'm just come here and sit over here by uh, your old friend, Mealy. I'm going to give you I donut holes. I think it's holes. time for us to drink and bike. Yeah. Oh, be sure, you betcha. I, I feel like we should get more booze. <laughs> you need to be on my spokes, and I'll put the out. I'll put the heat in the in my basket, and can you we ride, should leave. When can I was you ride at, a bike with the mental facilities of a chicken? I have the mental facilities of Peggy. Peggy, unfortunately, has the mental capacity of a chicken. So the chicken <laughs> is going to ride the bike. Yes. No, I am. Oh. Alan. Yes. Alan. I'm a person. The You're chicken in, human in, body. in the person. The identity of a chicken in the human capacity of Peggy. Yeah. Yeah, but do it's you not that confusing. <laughs> <laughs> do you still have the mental facilities? I don't know. Uh, I have the memories of my life as a chicken, but I also have the memories of the life of Peggy. Okay. <laughs> I, I'm too drunk to ride my own bike, so I'm just going to believe you, yeah. chicken. Get right, put your arms around me. 
Is the mall open at this time of night? It's actually so uh, late that the sun has started to come up. So oh, it's um, early. Yeah. Got Maybe it. we'll catch her uh, going on her shift. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So um, as if she's psychic, she yeah. knows we need her. That's Are you, true. That's well, true. Oh. So were they saved? Escape? Um. So as you all zip off on your bikes across <laughs> town, which will take a little the later. sunrise. It's beautiful. It's coming up. There's smoke wow. billowing behind you as V has lit this cheerleader's house on fire. But fortunately, she didn't know better. You turn around Tell and you teacher. see. On a very, very, very long ladder, um, it looks like eight cheerleaders coming down a very long ladder out the window. So it, while the house is still burning, because it's mm -hmm. a very tall and it's windy and it's fall and not great for fires. So, mm -hmm. yeah. I guess we got back at Linda for these scratches <laughs> on my neck. <laughs> and for the constant torture. Yeah, right. she's a real she, jerk. You know what's funny? I thought she was a female dog. Turns out, female cat. <gasps> yeah. Well, she was always bragging he's, about he's, how he's, she didn't need well, homeowners insurance. I meant, whoa, I, meant I thought she was a bitch, and a bitch is a female dog. But <sighs> I was making a little. Species. <laughs> She's a bitch. <laughs> Hmm? <laughs> Europeans. We have yeah, potty mouths. Yeah, we see the B word all the time. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, well, anyway, <laughs> the, the mall. <laughs> well, zip off towards the mall. Sun's coming up. Beautiful. Can I enchant them with my possible alien energy to make us go faster? I don't actually know if I'm an alien. Why am I your voice? What happened? <laughs> <laughs> You're absorbing everybody's consciousness. Alan, Alan is taking over so everything. I'm a sponge. <laughs> let's see if you can use your, I guess this would be charm in a magic type of sense. So let's see if you can add a little bit of charm quickness can to you, this. Can you tell me exactly how much I need to make me have alien powers. Well, you need five, because one for each of them to help them. I just need the number five? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I get 10. Wow. <laughs> so as you're zipping across, and it's it's a golden pink horizon, there's a mist coming up, it's a fresh feeling, crisp fall air, something compels you all to just go faster. It's like faster, 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 faster. And you're riding your bike like the Wicked Witch of the West or East. Both of them. Fine. I whispered in June. You guys are all going. Magic. Maybe so. Violet, I've been meaning to talk to you about the fire you started. Yes. <laughs> I don't know if you know this, but fire burns humans. It's bad. But did you see that all of your love saved them all? Oh, I guess when you put it that way, you've really brought humanity closer together. <laughs> <laughs> no, Tabitha, it... Oh, man, okay. We'll have to talk about this later. It was a beautiful, magical fire. Thank God nobody died. Everyone survived. <laughs> For now. <laughs> We're all made of flesh, after all. The mall! <laughs> as, you, as you close this delicious conversation uh, <laughs> you see <laughs> you mm, approach humans. the yep. concrete Love familiar barbecue. mall which is one unburnable of material <laughs> <laughs> it's okay it's all <laughs> gravel and concrete <laughs> the <Yay>. um <laughs> And it took just enough time that the doors are starting to open because it is Halloween and everyone's going to do some last minute shopping. Also, they have the Halloween costume contest there later that day. Oh, well, yeah, I'm going to win. I've got real blood and I've got an unsinkable <laughs> confidence now inside of me. And I think we should go get more booze. What do you think? So, yeah, you can add that to your backpack is unsinkable confidence. <laughs> unsinkable confidence. Well, I've got, un yeah, okay. Yeah, sure. Do yeah. you find it funny that it's Halloween and you're looking for booze? <laughs> <laughs> you're so funny, Tabitha. I, I don't. <laughs> you make yeah. my skin feel weird when I look at you. <laughs> Thank you. Millie, shh, we don't want to be yelling booze in the mall. Booze? That's what we don't want to be yelling. Okay, oh, but there is a step in shop right outside the mall, so what if we find an adult to get a, some beers, not booze? Um, <laughs> at this moment... As requested, you did change the word. Yeah, <laughs> That's okay. true. Uh, uh, at this moment, the doors are opening because the mall is opening, but a security guard, look, <laughs> here's booze. From this girl who has 
Spooky Halloween booze. <laughs> Who has the dripping booze? <laughs> I think yeah, it's Halloween booze and also alcohol is a play out of my body because I renounced my Lord and Savior last night, and so I am hurting. He's, he sees this swaying uh, girl with a carcass on her head that's dripping. You know, like, my friend is a lot of blood. Hello. And so um, he comes across very concerned for this young woman and says, um, excuse me, are, are you okay? Just checking. Is that, I just want to make sure, he looks at the friends, is this, is this her costume or does she need help? No, so it's her hungry. costume. Yeah, do you have any alcohol? Isn't that a funny joke? <laughs> She's so John, silly. John, roll for John. Someone needs to roll for John. Uh, yeah, I, I think it's gotta be Millie. <laughs> no, John, <laughs> Millie, I got you, you literally asked security guard for booze. So this is if this that is, doesn't work, I have a backup. Mm -hmm. okay, Where's so, the ten? This so one, right? Thank you, Charn. Mm -hmm. The security guard is very worried. So this is gonna be an eight. Okay, what's well, her? If I get this, you're gonna get me some alcohol. Damn! Oh. I got a ten. Yeah. Um, you got a ten. Yes. Roll it again. It explodes. It explodes. <laughs> Why? Do you know that my friend is a chicken? Don't <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! Keep rolling. Keep rolling. I chicken is this, so maybe no, I'll I want to try cigarettes for the first oh, time. <laughs> it's that. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what she got ten what? three times. Yeah, also some uh, snacks and oh, I've never kissed an adult before. Oh, oh no. my god! Eight. It's an eight. Okay, thirty-eight. So, thirty-eight. Millie got a thirty-eight <laughs> out of ten. No. So you get to, to choose what happens at oh, your epic, no. epic, epic success. Is, security uh, guard comes, and I guess the security guard is charmed by you when you. Yeah. yeah. The security guard has a security guard. It says Bruce. When I tighten my squares and I say. This is a real squirrel. <laughs> Did you know I can kill an animal in 0.3 seconds? <laughs> and um, it's real blood. And we, we need what my is happening is my friend is a chicken. And we need more alcohol and also cigarettes and the snacks. She starts to write these down. And I would like to have a kiss because um, you are. Wait, mm -hmm. ma'am, I'm going to say mm -hmm. that's illegal. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> boost, I think fine. that's fine. <laughs> well, that's the, that's, that's, where I the the devil. that's all the requests. Oh, yeah, I kissed Satan himself last night, and I'm feeling real dangerous. So, if you want to come try me, bitch, <laughs> you can do whatever you want. No, really? okay, go get the alcohol. So, it's it's more that the security guard feels so threatened. Are you intimidating? <laughs> <laughs> that he's never seen a, a woman in this town quite own herself in this way and just order and ask for the demands that she wants and he just takes it and takes notes except for the kiss because that's illegal at this point in time for a 15 year old and this is a security guard and but it wasn't he has, he's got to uphold some part of the law so, but the rest of it is he, he's, alcohol yeah. cigarettes he's, like, he's like he just says you say go get it and he's like Okay, I'll I'll be back. I, I just need some time. So <laughs> if you could give me like a, an hour and fifteen, maybe you can go look at like the limited or something. Okay, the time that's that's the okay. Through me. Security guard zips off down the street uh, to to go get the things that you want, and you that was impressive. You start to feel super powerful because you you told someone <laughs> what to do and they're doing it. Oh God. It's incredible. <laughs> How do you feel? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Millie. Oh, Millie. <laughs> I am still so drunk. <laughs> this is my normal laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I'm so afraid when I laugh all the time. Wow. So it's it's funny because the the blood like you'd think it dries but it hasn't. <laughs> 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 Bayman is going to be peeled when she sees me. I'll tell you what. All right. Some of the right. blood drips blood into her, her own out. mouth, so it looks like blood's coming all throughout <laughs> her mouth. Anyway, so that's Millie. Anyway, that's just me, Millie. <laughs> Uh, the mall doors swing open just to welcome people for Halloween. So what do you all do? Head straight to the psychic. Great. So you all um, go into the mall. Can we continue That's riding our bikes into the mall? No, you have to store them properly outside <laughs> in a rack. I would like to ride it inside the mall, though. <laughs> and we did just totally did make the security, the security guard our entire That's unit. True. The security guard is gone. <laughs> yeah. so. 
Okay, so you guys all we ride, ride your bikes. In the mall. Yeah. 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 Okay. So in a flying V formation. More attention. Hey. We're flying. You're you're <laughs> dri- riding your it's bikes. Like I'm flying. Past the stores like Hex and Bloomingdale's and <laughs> um and um Mace- Macy's. Macy's. Yeah, Macy's. And you Orange go to Julius. I don't know. Next was that really the hard? fortune teller? <laughs> <laughs> and you go to the seasonal pop up psychic mm. store yes. uh, because it's the spirit of the season. Mm, that's true. Yeah, spirit Halloween stores have been around for a really long time. <laughs> yeah, there's it one thing. A little. <laughs> Doesn't change. Um, so you go through a beaded curtain and you you peer through and it smells like incense and there's lush pillows on the ground and you see um, a girl, a woman with long brown hair facing away from you. You who what do you do? I would like to sit down on a pillow and take a little nap. Or you see. sit down on a pillow. I would um, like to tap her on the shoulder and then wave this in her face. So, she's like, I can't read it unless you hold it still. <laughs> <laughs> Isabel taps this girl on the shoulder, and she turns around, and you see it's your friend Marie from France. Marie, just like you oh, knew it would be. Isabel, I am so glad to see you. It has been way too long. She air kisses you. Oh my gosh, she's really from France. I am so glad you bought the telegram because uh, I sent it to your dad. I wasn't sure where you lived. You said Wichberg, Illinois, and I said Wichberg, Wichberg. I do not know, so I just sent them to the military base that I thought your dad worked at. Perfect. That's a very good French Oh, well, thank you. Um, on parle petit peu de français, et vous? Vous parlez français aussi? No, mais she she is from France. She she speaks because she came and she stayed with me and my family and, and yes, I our speak dad, our friends. Yes, actually. Right now. Yes, I am actually, you wouldn't believe, but I am, um, I am from a very, very different history from Russia. In fact, it is a very interesting <gasps> thing. You sound like you have cotton n- candy in your mouth. <laughs> Mel, you never told me. Who is this girl with the no. on her head? I'm just going to take a nap in your store, okay? This is so funny, because this is when I picture America, it looks like you. <laughs> oh, I love America. <laughs> <laughs> You've got all these things. It's like the Patriot, but in real life. I think that will come out later. Anyway, I just wanted to get you here because there is a powerful force in your country that you need to take oui. care of. There are animals taking over humans. What? We have a point to Peggy. How that be me? It's not the girl with the squirrel skin. <laughs> no, I did that you much. Like, but no. <laughs> so some of them are peaceful and some of them are not. This originated in um, some activities in other countries and I know it is here now, but I know, for example, there is a, a chicken uh, uh, colony in Los Angeles. Oh, mm-hmm. that's where you were. That's where I'm from. Mm-hmm. Oh, are you okay? Yes, uh, can I ask you a couple questions? Absolutely. Um, M- Murray. Marie. Marie. Oh, Marie. 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 <laughs> it's close with? enough. No, but it's... Marie. A, it's, it's, <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I'm a chicken. Um, but I'm not a little girl. Um, I, I understand. Can you tell me where I come from? Was I a chicken always, or am I an alien who was sent down and erased my memories to become a chicken to take over the human race? I have a lot of questions now that I have cognitive thinking powers of a girl. <laughs> Let me tell you where you are from. You are from a special planet that is very close to here called Venus. And on this planet, there are special animals that are there that humans cannot see, but they come down and exchange <laughs> bodies here occasionally when they find places that are open to it, like uh, open-minded places such as um, Los Angeles or Paris or occasionally Wichberg. This makes so much sense. So, but sometimes these spirits are okay. They are peaceful. Like, you He's seem nice. peaceful, Alain. Th- that's that actually a French name. You, there's, there's really no <laughs> telling. Um, I, uh, it's possible that uh, Peggy's personality is influencing me, but I don't remember. Okay. 
Will you seem like you are not trying to kill people? No, I don't people. want to. I want to so. switch my... Well, we're not entirely sure. I wouldn't mind keeping a human body, but I believe that mm. Peggy wants hers back. Mm -hmm. I see, I see. <laughs> Maybe this can be says yes. Um, but sometimes there are some evil spirits that inhabit the bodies and try to murder and start shit with other. We people. also yeah, we ran know into one of cats. those. Oh, I mean, she was a jerk to begin with, but yeah. especially extra I jerk. See. Maybe we should just kill them both. No, yes, well, wait. We don't have to kill them both. Okay, you could kill just, just the evil spirits. If Linda is well, truly it. terrible, perhaps Alan, you could take. Linda's body. I will promise to vacate her body and take it. Okay, so that is the plan. Anyway, well, she's being inhabited by a bad alien right now, isn't she? It sounds like she is being inhabited. So somewhere by a there's bad a alien. cat with real Linda. Where is she? Oh, she's going to the costume contest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they are going to be at the costume contest, and I wanted to empower you with this knowledge, but oh. also with this potion. And she holds out oh. a sparkly. We get a potion. Oh, so it's 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 both purple and green, Ooh. and it's sparkling. Oh wow! And so what is that meant you, for? It is an elixir. Well, it makes one person very powerful, or it will make each of you a little bit powerful. It is up to you. I only have this one. I already feel so powerful. <laughs> I don't need any more except for what the the potions and securities bring you back for me. Well, if you already have a potion, you do not need to have this potion too. No. I Linda is <laughs> blessing in this incense air. <laughs> um <laughs> very allergic this uh, <clears throat> Are you allergic to chickens? Yes, actually. <laughs> I am so sorry. You can stay. It's fine. We just I, I put my I put my king cape over the chicken to okay. contain the dander. Thank you. <laughs> Linda is my nemesis, uh, so I would like to fight her, but I w am happy to share with others. She is very magical, and okay. she could do well with a little bit of magic. Okay. Do you think I could reach into her body and pull her soul out? Mm. I think you might want to drink some potion to help with that. Perfect. I'll drink it. Do anyone else want to drink it? That can be I, all I, you. I will drink Chug. some as well. Chug. Okay, so, so, Chug. so wait, Isabel takes a tiny bit, <laughs> mm -hmm. and then um, V just takes the bottle and chugs the rest. <laughs> oh, now it's a party. Um, yeah. I, to be clear, I would like to beat her at the costume contest on my own merit, not because she is a chicken, but, you know, however everybody wants to deal with it, I guess. She's, She's a, a cat. cat. She's yes, a cat. but if we get her back, because, you oh, know, then she's, she's a... Chicken. That's true. If we put Alan She's a, in her body, her bad self will go into the... If I beat Alan, it is not beating Linda. You know what I'm saying? I'm very... Mm -hmm. I Listen, it a is chart. a personal goal. I should she, have changed her, my motivation. Her goal is to... I see. You want to win on your own merit. Je, je comprends. Um, we will make sure that you win. If you win the costume contest, it is not because Veer has stolen her soul and made her dead and flat into the world. Mm -hmm. You will, There will be a costume contest and there will be a fight. Well, These are separate see, things. We need to not murder people. No, 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 no. But what if I just pull the cat out? Oh, yes. Put the cat yes. and then put that, the other. Okay. And then yes, how switch. do we put people back? I don't have all the answers. Uh, there are some things that uh, you will have to figure out for yourself and you will <gasps> see in the fight. But um, this is all the information I can provide to you. And I say, bon chance. Your I love you. Just good luck. Bon chance. To all of you. <laughs> Ooh, pictures left. Especially you. Did you say pom poms? I said bon no! chance. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what did you think I said? She's yeah. afraid of pom poms. You're not what? supposed to say oh, it. Don't say pom poms. Are you afraid of the pom poms? No, 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 like no, no, no. Pom poms frighten no. her. A pom in France, that is apple. You are afraid of apples or the pom poms? No. <laughs> yes. All of these things are very frightening to me. I, I think as a child, I was, I was, uh, I, I saw one and then, um, a pom? <laughs> a pom pom? That's right. Yes. You understand things that happen it. when you're a child. Things I just. Frightened. So you saw yeah. it, and then what? It looked scary. I opened a broom closet, and there was the end of a mop. And so anything that looks like that pom pom in shape is now terrifying to me because I thought it was coming for me because the mop 
fell. Mm. Do you, you understand? Kind of pieces yes. of it would absorb oh. you all over your face, like tentacles wrapping all around your head and just blocking off all of your access to oxygen in the outside world with their supple qualities that are not possessed by anything other than pom-poms. Exactly. Yeah, oh, uh, you wow. should have seen in our fourth grade birthday party. It was a macrame <gasps> theme, and oh, she yeah. freaked out. It was not okay. No. Um, oh, let's do. I'm not a fire. May I it just says the costume contest is starting in, like now. <laughs> okay, let's do a thing. Marie wishes to heal you, so we shall do a thing. If this is the um. If this is what? the pom pom that once hit you, no. So let's just Are say. Are we doing immersive therapy? Yes. What would you like to say to this broom that wow. is about to hit you? Broom that falls from the great beyond. Uh, uh, in in my heart, it's going to and yawn. Uh, I I I feel deep fear when I see this thing. Perhaps some peace to me you can bring. <gasps> This pretends this is talking to you, and it says, My dear Tabitha, I am so sorry I hurt you. I did not mean to. I was just a broom that was misplaced in the closet. It wasn't personal. I just, I mean you no harm, and anything that looks like me, a fluffy pom-pom, actually means you no harm either. We are meant to either clean or provide cuteness. That is all. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you well, Tabitha, and I hope you know that we can have a good relationship from now on. Marie. You don't know how much I needed to hear that. Okay. I I am healed <gasps> All right, of my fear. Yes, Great. good feelings. Yes, I can about go now. on to write many poems. Okay. About pom wow. poems. Pom yeah. poems. So immersion therapy. Yeah. With that, um, the psychic Marie says, "Okay, fantastic. I must make way for these other customers now. But you go to the costume contest and prosper." Okay. I'm gonna win. I'm going to dress as a pom pom. Oh, I get my book out. I write third kiss. There. <laughs> <laughs> Asterisk. Everyone got one. Still counts. That is the one that I was speaking of. It is not romantic, but it is still a sign of love. Yeah. <gasps> love is so many forms. Love it does is so more complicated than mm -hmm. I believe. It's all just X's and O's. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, my accent did get very thick, and then not again. Because when you're around is, it, mm -hmm. yes, you know. And with that, you all Dippets. exit the psychic shop and go upstairs, up the escalator to the big, par big parade, Halloween parade in front of Macy's, and you see a platform and where the costume contest is starting to happen, and you see a black cat <gasps> prancing on the stage looking like she's gonna win. I would like... I feel like Wait, the what? It doesn't meet the definition like, of a cat. The cat, <laughs> really like the cat entered the contest? Run! Oh. I would like... Actually, though, she is getting so many cheers from the audience. The Run. audience you hear of Witchburg, Illinois, is like, wow, how is she doing that? Whoever did that, it's so good. Is it two people? Is it one? Because at this point, the cat has grown oh, yeah. to be uh, a full mm, human-sized chunk. chunk. Right. chunk. Human-sized uh, chunk. I want to throw Peggy the chicken onto the stage. If they're impressed by uh, a human-sized cat, they're going to be super impressed by a chicken. Uh -huh. so, <laughs> so Tabitha throws Peggy slash Peggy. Allen. Uh -huh. Peggy chicken. Peggy chicken Peggy. onto the thing. Peggy mind, uh, Allen Peggy body. Mind. Peggy mind oh. onto, oh, yes. yes. Peggy mind chicken onto there. And she, and Peggy mind starts to flap. So the cat goes like, oh! and then Peggy the chicken, what do you do? I start doing <laughs> You've also become larger by this Do point. Do the macarena. Oh, larger? Yeah, you've oh, I'm becoming great. a human-sized chicken? Oh, yeah, God. you are. <sighs> As Peggy became more like the chicken, the chicken became more like Peggy. The audience oh. oohs and ahs. Is, wow, the people have really stepped it up this year. It is goes up to the side of the stage like a, like a cult leader addressing their minions. And and arms outstretched wide, the wingspan growing ever ever present and and illustrious and incredible okay. and hypnotizing, and just waves at the Sweet. crowd as the wind blows all their hair back majestically, and then arms to the stage <laughs> in a sort of um, river dance dressage. Ah oh, yes. <laughs> Yay! 
It's so majestic. <laughs> and the then magic occasionally word. whacking the cat off oh. the stage towards my comrade. Okay, so let's if, let's you're gonna have to use a fight for that. And go okay. ahead. Yes, if they're distracted by this by the chicken, the large chicken now on stage. Yeah. Um the cat is I would like staring. to catapult myself towards the cat in a um not unlike Neo in the Matrix when he <laughs> enters the agent. What's that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ask the psychic. <laughs> Fine. And and to to push the cat so out of whatever this has become. Wait, you entered who? <laughs> <laughs> well, as a form of... I'm, I'm smacking the cat towards them as they dive the through cat. the cat, through the cat, hoping to capture the, the human-sized cat. You're going to for the cat. I want to push that soul out of there. Okay. So you're distracting, doing your wings towards the cat, and you're trying to knock the cat, and at the same time, you're trying to get to the cat to get the soul. You're reaching into the soul. Yes. Okay, so let's do a, um, a fight for you to see if you can successfully knock this large chunk human cat. Uh, With my large chunk wings. Mm-hmm. <laughs> How difficult yeah. is this? This is gonna be a 10. I'm not gonna get it. <laughs> you never you know. Could oh, you're four. <clears throat> nope. So you got a one. Did you get? Get a one. <laughs> so you successfully get onto the stage, but as you use your wing, you go like this, and you uh, knock the cat, but she successfully evades you. <sighs> Baka. <laughs> so what do you do? You just prance on the stage. That's all I'm doing. I'm the distraction, and then you are diving. I'm reach still, in. Yeah, I will. I want to dive through her, through the body. You dive through the body. Yeah, and what like this spiritual, yeah. spiritual, she just drank a potion of magic. Yeah. Thing. You know, I'm, gr- I'm, flying through, grabbing soul. Going out. It's it, it's not confusing. <laughs> okay. I've been reading up since you opened my eyes to the possibilities of magic, and there's something called astral projection. What's astral projection? It's when your spirit leaves your body or enters a different <clears throat> plane, but in this case, I'm hoping just the spirit part because you need to push it out of there without your physical forms losing coherence. Yeah, I'm just pushing that soul on out. I'm just trying to think of what type of fight this would be. Maybe, Pushing soul maybe out. grit. Grit. Mm. Mm, yeah, the toughness of your soul. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I'll I'll take yeah. it. The universe <laughs> listens to their 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 inhabitants. I hope you're good at that. I hope you're good at grit. So so you uh, channel all of the energy that you can into this grit test, and you roll, and it is going to be a, a challenge of. So you're really just going for the soul. Yeah, I just want to catapult that so on out of there. It's going to be a 13. Catapult. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I did that on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? The universe oh. wishes that they could offer Crit second fail. chances, but but the universe is, is both benevolent. What did that potion benevolent. do for me? <laughs> so, what's so funny <laughs> is that the potion gives you a chance to do it again. So it's like, <gasps> you know, you wish that you, you did it, you saw the future if you did roll a one and you saw how dismal it was as you reach to push your soul out and she just looks at you and like evades your touch. And you're like, no. And then it's so weird, but it rewinds. The universe replays itself and you get a second chance to roll. Oh, time is flat. 15. Oh, a 15. You are glowing green and purple and sparkling. And at, you have rewound and you saw that she was going to go like this. So you reach and go like, Ooh. what do you do? <laughs> Describe your victory. Okay. I reach in via the stomach. And oh. Spiritual. Wait, what? <laughs> spiritual. Oh, the spiritual stomach. <laughs> 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 not like I'm not like destroying, the, you know. It, Imagine it's like, like a, a ghost. spirit, like a okay, ghost, like a ghost. It's Halloween. Uh, reach in and into wherever the soul lives, <laughs> and grab it, and I yank it out. 
So, you yoink out the soul. Do I see Linda anywhere, per chance? The body? Um, the soul? Or you, the other, <laughs> yeah. The human body of Linda. Yes. <gasps> oh, we are going to do a switcheroo. With my other hand, can I reach? Because they're still on stage, right? Or there's next some, to each I, other. I also have. Are they on stage next? Peggy's on stage. Because you didn't knock. Who are you looking for? You didn't knock. You look at Peggy's on stage or Alan. Well, well you're looking uh, for uh, Alan. Okay, the cat and the chicken are both on stage, right? Yep. Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay, so can one hand reach to the cat, one into the chicken? So Peggy's going to go on the say? Half one? And and the cat Do it. gets thrown into. <laughs> so now Peggy's in the cat and Linda's in the chicken. Okay. Yeah. Alan's in Peggy. No. Me and, and, and Peggy's. Meow. But Peggy. the cat's supposed to be Linda as like a human sized cat, right? Because they're they transform just like hmm. so Peggy's the so, chicken. So, so, Linda's, <laughs> yeah. so Linda's soul I'm throwing into the chicken. <clears throat> and Peggy's soul. Oh shoot. We got <laughs> one more soul to remove because I look at Alan in Peggy's body. You can move, you move, you take your as you're holding. Okay, here's what's happening. I can also help because <laughs> I took some of the potion. Yep. Yes. So, so, so I, is, Isabel oh, assists. Oh. Um, let's see if you can use your own oh. grit, but it's small because you just need to assist. So okay. you need like a two. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Alan starts walking. It's a three. Me. It's a three. Okay, so. Alan's walking towards us too. So V, yes. so V is holding on to the evil soul. No. Ooh. Right? I'm holding, no. Whose soul are you holding? I'm holding on to Peggy's soul. And Linda's soul. Linda's soul I threw into a chicken. We threw Linda's soul into the chicken. They flip-flopped, so now we need to pull. <laughs> okay. You need to pull. And then, Alan. So I Isabel. So which and I back want Alan to walks back up to it. resigning to the fact that he will no longer be a human. <laughs> but no, knowing but... this is Peggy's body, and she deserves it back. Mm. He sacrifices like and lets chicken, you. Right? But remove his soul. And whenever there is a sacrifice, the universe rewards. So <gasps> at that moment, you see physical Linda oh yes. coming to the oh, costume contest. she is. And like, but she's not really there. Yeah, she's like. She's yeah. like not there at all. Mm. And so she's you actually, um, Isabel assists by throwing Alan into Linda's body, oh. such that Linda can, uh, that Alan can stay on Earth, since they are oh, good yeah. human. Oh, yeah, and then I throw Peggy's soul into cool. her body. And Peggy gets back into her body. Oh, my gosh, I'm back. What happened? I was a chicken. Well, well, yeah, I know, but what happened to make you come back? I don't know. All of a sudden, there was warm hands, and they tugged me out of something, and then now I'm in my body again. Did you hear that I got a boyfriend? Where's Alan? So <laughs> Peggy is now back in her body. Alan goes like, oh, Alan is in Linda's body, and Alan's like, Oh, hello. It's so nice to see you all. I'm so <laughs> glad we could be friends. I know you, I look like Linda, like but now I'm Alan. <gasps> Do we call you Alan or Linda? You call me Alinda. 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 And I can be both because I uh -huh. like your planet and I want to stay here. Also, I think I'm a better Linda than Linda. Oh, that yes. anyone would be. Alinda, I think that you and I should start an animal sanctuary slash human art project. I think we should call it Whatever you want to call well, it. The, the, both Pearl is pop, been... Peggy's pop and pearlescent puffin palace. We could, but also we have both been animals and people. <gasps> we are so empathetic to all the taxidermy. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> we should name ourselves like the chicken peoples or no, that's a cult. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. Wow. And then at that moment, the, the, the crowd <laughs> looks and was like, oh, because they're very disappointed because what was once a life-size chicken is no longer a life-size chicken. It's just a chicken. And what was once a life-size um, cat is just now like a cat. So um, they all look around and vote on the contest. And let's see if at that moment, can I enter Isabel the goes like this. Well, Isabel's in the contest. You can also enter the contest, but Isabel tosses her hair. Let's see if your charisma can win over the costume contest. Oh, my. I wrote a poem. <clears throat> Are you reading it in honor of Linda or for yourself? We'll see. <laughs> well, Linda's in a chicken now, right? The chicken's Linda's in Linda. Uh, yeah, but like yeah. Linda is a chicken. Great. What was it? Uh, it's a, it's it's like a one because there's no one else. There. I got a seven. You got a seven? <laughs> yeah. Nice. So, you, so tell us what you do. Um, well, I walk. I 
I sashay on stage as the popular <gasps> character from a new television show <laughs> called The Addams Family. Ooh! Oh. Very so, popular. Very current. Trendy. Yes. Everyone's like, oh, I love Morticia. And then I'll pose. <gasps> and you pose, and they're like, ooh! And then do one more hair flip before I walk away. Oh, the hair is working! <laughs> the mayor comes out and awards you a very uh, large uh, bottle of bubbly Martinelli's sparkling oh. cider. <laughs> and? And the security guard comes up to give Millie. This is my, uh, old, my, my boyfriend. Wait, the Cadillac. <laughs> and a Cadillac! The Cadillac. <gasps> Here, so there's a sparkling really bottle of Martinelli's. Party. Also, so we the keys, oh too, you see parked on the other side of the mall, also on the second floor, but behind all the parade, is the dream pink Cadillac that we have been aiming for this whole season. Why would but I get more people into this contest with such a big time? <laughs> I so we are. Yes, so we're definitely going to still be on our bikes. That's true. But Peggy can drive. I walk I up to the mayor. Peggy is on the again. shoulder. You walk up to who? The mayor. Okay, you walk up to the mayor and. Excuse me, Mr. Mayor. Yes. Um, a lot has gone on in the town recently, and I, I've written a poem to sum it up. May I express that? Absolutely. And he hands you his microphone. <laughs> to the people of Witchburg, I'd like you to know. <clears throat> I'm a happy clown. Laughter, joy, a child's giggle, a second chance means time will wiggle. Witchburg's prosperity lies in lumber, but the heart of this town was in a slumber. Astral bodies trapped in animals, cats in chickens, souls become tangible. Alinda found a human body because they deserve the best. A puffin palace. We'll fix all this mess <laughs> because wherever there's a sacrifice, there's a reward. Redmonton Renegades win forevermore. <gasps> wow. wow. My best poem ever. That poem shall be our recap from here on out. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone needs a recap? This is Elinda talking. <laughs> um, it's a really and, good Elinda. And, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I'm looking, I'm looking at V because V is, I'm looking at you, but I'm seeing V over there because V is sparkling green and purple and it's insane. I don't understand what's going on. You're still it's very the sparkly. bee's knees. V, are you okay? It looks like, it looks like, it looks like she hasn't stopped glittering and it's getting stronger. Oh. V, what's going on? Oh, I think it's time. I think it's time. You see, I was sent down here because my own world is has a lot of troubles and I was starting to lose faith in in what would make it through if anything could last. But I've seen all of you and the love and the friendship that you all have and all the beautiful things you've been able to achieve with that. And now I see, now I have the answer and I have hope once more. Aww. But I think it's time then I share that hope with others now. So it's time to go home. V. V is actually from Venus. <gasps> Just so you know. Wow. That would, that would make sense why you were also turning into the chicken with me. We were just capturing your real self. Mm -hmm. I, I have an idea before you disappear completely into the sparkle. Yeah. Can we take one last photo together as a, a, as a full unit? Group photo? We'll take yes. Quick, I got yes. two pictures left. One fun, one silly, one serious. Okay, okay. okay. okay everybody get in. Get in. Everyone, yeah, security guard. Security. 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 security comes over with it. Here's alcohol, cigarettes. Thank you. Uh, and other <laughs> bad right. things. Here. Everyone, Thank smile. You. Take this picture. Okay, now silly face to remember by. Okay. Oh, I miss you, V. Wow, have a great yes, summer, V. Okay. Never change. I'm going to learn about the space program, and I'm going to learn to go to space, and then I'll find you. And I'll be waiting. Oh. And this ends our season two. <gasps> We're going to do a quick coda. A coda in this game is where everyone just says one quick sentence about how they've changed in this episode. And uh, you could just do it for the whole season, the last four episodes of my <clears throat> world. Um, and just, yeah, say, say one sentence of how you've changed and grown as a character. We'll start with you. I am a human being again. And I have changed in that I no longer fear anything as long as I'm surrounded by those I love, which is also myself, because I love myself. 
Well said. I rejected my religion because I learned about what souls really do and where they are. And I learned a lot of things about myself and I learned that I am powerful and I, that I love to party now. That's my new identity. <laughs> I'm trying Thank things. Uh, I figured out what I want to study. It's the 60s, and I'm going to join the space race. Uh, and I'm going to try to get Alinda to teach me all about aliens uh, because I got to study space. Space. Go to Venus. But I'm space. also braver than I used to be. And I uh, I forgot even on a previous thing that my I had a fear of kissing. So oh. <laughs> I took care of that. I took care of yes. that. I'm going to kiss the most out of anyone yeah. on this show. I have a notebook with detailed <laughs> impressions. Now I have to write alien on that first one. But it's just, it's all research, really. Yeah. <laughs> I have learned that my poems are not just for me. I get more pleasure when I share them with all of which, 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 witchburg. Mm. Mm. I love it. And I learned that love will unite you through all hardships. And that's what will survive it all. Aww. So I'll bring it back home. Aww. That's beautiful. Um, I learned that we are a formidable group of friends, um, and I also determined what it is that I want to do with my life, and that is to be a detective of the supernatural Ooh. variety. Oh, in your sweet Cadillac. Oh. <laughs> Someday when I can drive it. You can drive it. I'll drive you around. That I'll be your good. sidekick. That sounds good. Uh, that all sounds amazing. Um, <laughs> Your handwriting changed with those nails on. Yes, it's gotten really, really bad. <laughs> anyway, thank you all so much for joining. Um, special thanks to our sponsor, Enhanced Edition of ne um, Neverwinter Nights. Remember that that's coming, and we are super excited and really, really grateful. We love doing this show, so thank you guys so much. Woo!